Hello, chat. How's it going? It's been a little while since the last stream. Because I, uh, I took last week off. For reasons that I'll get into. Well, this background music's quite nice. I love leaving the main menu up for the game so I can just talk over the background music. So yeah, as, as you can see by the title, I'm going to try out um, a game that a lot of you probably haven't heard of because it's brand new. Um, called Pacific Drive today. Um, and uh, I think a lot of streamers are playing it because it looks like a good game overall, but I have a specific kind of relationship to it in that it's one of the the demos that I checked out in person when I went down to PAX, actually, um, back in the fall. <clears throat> and um, we, we met one of their devs at a, one of those like networking kind of after-party things and we chatted a bit, so I don't know. I, I feel like I have a bit of a, a link to the game. <laughs> But uh, it was legitimately my favorite demo down at PAX. It looked really exciting and cool. And it's, you know, it's set in the Pacific Northwest, so that's already where I live. It should be very familiar to me. It's just how I drive to work, except I don't have a job, Lamau. Um, but, but first, there's yet more pressing news. The reason I didn't stream last week is because um, I have been incredibly busy with RAM for the last two weeks or so, um, as has Toby in chat. We've been basically booking it to get a new demo update out before um, we go down to GDC and the Independent Games Festival uh, in mid-March. So we're going to have like um, you know, a booth down there and we're going to have a... We're, we're potentially could be given an award and have to do like a fucking game award speech at the podium and shit. So we wanted to get like a all our fresh new changes into the demo before that. And that came out yesterday. And you can all play that. And um, I'm going to start the stream today, as I used to do a while back, with um, a short RAM blast. We're going to do a RAM run and then we're going to go into the actual Pacific Drive game. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry for the shameless plug, but... You're gonna have to deal with it, because I've been working on this shit non-stop for like two weeks now. Um, unfortunately, I'll have to close the game temporarily to, to run RAM, so goodbye nice background music. Yo, ten, ten bucks, ten dollars from JMH. Congrats on the RAM update. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And I also appreciate the donation. Uh, yeah, let's get going here. I hope it's not super loud right off the bat. Oh, it's alright. Um, where's my RAM? I want to stream RAM. Why is OBS not detecting RAM as, a, as an entity that's running? What's wrong with it? Oh, there it is. We got there. Okay, it's a bit loud. OBS needs lots of rounds. Hey, Pickles in chat. We got some new art and shit. It's gonna be hard to go over even what is new, because so much of, so much stuff is new. That menu theme, though. Oh, that's good. Uh, well, let's just go. Let's fucking go. We got a new little map art. Lots, lots of new art. All the levels have been reskinned completely now. As have the upgrade menus, although these are still a bit of a work in progress. Most of the game is business as usual. You can still do trick shots, you can still swap the usual kind of shit. We got some, uh, some cool new uh, character interactions, though, which hopefully I can show off before not too long here. If I play decently. Ah, shit, I missed it. There's a new feature uh, that we've added, actually, that I could have shown off there, but I screwed it up. Where, um... Enemies that deadlifts launch are now deflectable. I'm just going to continuously reiterate, by the way, for anyone joining the stream, that this is not Pacific Drive. This is my own game that I'm going to demo quickly before we start the actual stream games. This is not Pacific Drive. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's see if I can get it to happen here. I need this red guy. There we go. It's going to happen. He's going to be grappled the router. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
I forgot that I didn't have a character with a, a melee attack. You can deflect them. That That's the trick. You can deflect launched enemies now, and it's really sick. Oh, no. I'll, I'll show this off. Fuck. This game's too hard. I can't actually show off the cool tricks that I want to. I should have played on beginner mode. There we go. And that just bad. Okay, I'll do it here. I'll do it here. Check this out. Boom. Okay, that was almost cool. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting demolished. I made the game too hard. I swear that I'm good at this game actually and I play it a lot. There we go. Uh go for the bulk. What do you mean no melee? You, you, you can get the deflect with the steel toe, it's just very hard um, with the deadlift. Soldering fingers is really good, but I'm not in the mood for it right now. Let's see, we got new windmills finally. These fucking windmills were uh, part of the concept for level 1 before like literally anything else. It was pretty much the original pitch for level 1 was like, yeah, some sort of mount with like windmills on it. And only just now have we finally gotten windmills. It's incredible. Ah, uh, I missed the trick shot. You hate to see it. There we go. That's pissing me off. How's it going, Mel? You've had a stream. Yep, yeah, we're doing some quick ramming before we get into the actual game here. Oops. Ooh, dear. Okay, that worked. Where's he going? Get back here. Shoot me. There we go. Yeah, the reason I'm playing RAM is because we have a new update that just released, like, yesterday. It's all fresh and new. Almost as fresh and new as Pacific Drive. Gotta have footwork scheduler. <laughs> the windmills mean it must be the Netherlands, says chat. Maybe. To be honest, I'm not... It's never been totally clear in my mind where the actual setting of RAM takes place. It does seem vaguely European in some ways, but maybe it's the Netherlands. got my number. Kablooey. Oh, you love to see that. Bah. I will use cheats if I need to. I have to get to the shop and show off the new content <laughs> so I can't die this run. I won't let it happen. Can I get the deflect now? The tar stopped him. It never works out. Wait. Check this out. This is a trailer shot. Boom! Two in one! I didn't get a trick shot for that? That's fucked up. That's actually fucked up. I should have gotten a trick shot for that. That's a bug. I can't play my own game. I totally can. I'm the guy who has to get the trailer footage, but... I, I'm just sleepy today. I woke up late because I've been uh, becoming gaunt and haggard working on RAM all day for two weeks. That's why the stream is so late today. When I woke up late, too, I, uh, uh, I went for something kind of ambitious with the thumbnail. I'm not sure it really turned out, but, but uh, like and subscribe if you think my thumbnail is cool that I made for Pacific Drive. Fuck. Oh, dear. Always get Hasso Toby. Oh dear, oh dear. There we go. I'm permanently EP streamer these days, yeah. You get the ricochet. 
maybe? Please. Oh, come on. It'd be cool. There we go. That's a ricochet. Ricochet. <laughs> Trick shots are cool even if they're forced as hell. Remember that. Yeah. So we also have new tutorials in the new update so that people who are encountering the game for the first time can actually learn how to use the bots. We didn't really have very good tutorials for the specific mechanics before, so... In the new update, we tried to take off the kid gloves a bit and actually keep some like more advanced tech in the tutorials. And they're much more polished in general. So I'd recommend it's a it's a good time for like any new ram heads to get on the wagon if you're looking for that. Although apparently the uh, the first room of the aphid tutorial is like the hardest puzzle of all time. It's like a some shit from the witness. No one can figure it out. We may have to nerf it. This guy is annoying, he's in this little box. Get out of there. We made some changes to uh, the Hasso Tobi upgrade that may need to be rethought. It's kind of unpredictable. The idea was that you could launch anything that you uh, you touch, not just the grappled enemy because they're flying forward, but it seems that you can also launch like bullets and stuff that you're- Oh my god, I'm never gonna get it. I just want to see a deflection of a deadlift enemy. Please. Please grapple the aphid. Please do it. What are you waiting for? Do it. Grapple him. What are you waiting for? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, he died before I could hit him. This game is trolling me. I hate this fucking game. Pause the- Oh, I should pin Toby's message? Yeah, I probably should. Pin, pin, pin. Again, for anyone just joining the stream, this is not Pacific Drive. This is RAM. I'm showing it off before we start the actual game. Uh, yo, check this out. New shop. New shop. There's a shop dude with dialogue and shit. I've already progressed to the end of the dialogue, but there's like a whole dialogue interaction sequence that you can get. New fucking UI. We got like a file system. This shit is mint. <laughs> Incredibly exciting, I know. It wants me to make a crazy fucking rotor build, apparently, so let's do that. The random bot upgrades, they're not cheaper actually, they they are different though. It, you can actually buy multiple of them, which is new, but they get more expensive each time. Which is a buff to the shop still. Um, we've also added the second shop before the boss, which is brand new. This guy always trolls me, the uh... Damn it. The elites have different timing for when they shoot sometimes, and it, it can really screw you up. Hey, this looks like a good room to get a deadlift deflection in. Please? This guy's gonna force me to joust with him, it looks like. Oops. Wait, no, I need... I can't deflect with the rotor. It's not gonna... Ah, oh, fuck. Yo, shape... No, I already took, um... Bulk... Bulk delivery. That's an anti-synergy with shape charges. Come on. Nice. Get out of here. Ooh, and you can hear it now. We have a second uh, combat music theme that Nahu made for uh, the second half of level one. So once you're past the shop, you get this banger in your ear. Personally, I think it's better than the original, even. What's that in chat? I played RAM for the first time today. Never managed to do a, a nail driver. It becomes second nature. It seems really impossible at first, and then you just sort of memorize the timing and you can do it on demand. It's one of those uh, skill ceiling things, the learning curve things you hear about in video games. They have those sometimes. I think it's pretty cool. Boom! Okay, that was a nice one. That was a fucking nice trick shot. Yes, I'm saying it's a skill issue. Well, th there are legitimately a lot of uh, things in RAM that seem like weird at first, and then people like learn how to do it, and it's actually really strong. Like, it's amazing how often we see comments that are like um, completely different. Like, depending on how long a player has been playing the game, like this upgrade sucks. 
Like, that upgrade that sucks could be the same upgrade that someone else calls the best in the game, completely busted, just because they know how to use uh, the character better. Oh, yeah! I just mash the rotors into, like, a smoothie. And just crunch them up and eat them. Delicious. Uh. That was fucked up. Oh, I got bodied. The big rotor can just body check you and you die. That's its power. It's a secret technique. This is a fast as fuck rotor now, though. Check me out. Oh, straggler. As you can see, the uh, another one. Yo. The upgrades now fly out of the last enemy's corpse, comically. <laughs> I'm really happy with that change, personally. Kablooey. Oh, you love to see it. And sear these guys? Nope, apparently not. Fuck it, just blow them up. Oh, yeah. Should be getting close to the boss, almost there. Trying to go fairly quick here to not make the uh, Empire Stream ram. The point is to get the Pacific Drive. Yeah, we're hoping that some more people make uh, videos and that the demo is a bit fancier and it's in like the, the Steam Fest. Oh, I haven't mentioned that on stream, I guess. Yeah, where the ram demo is being featured in the upcoming Steam uh, Dinos vs. Robots Fest because, spoilers, the game has robots in it. We actually had to fucking appeal that. Like, we, we has to be in. And then, like, we didn't qualify. It's like, the game's not enough robots or something. And we're like, no, no, you, really, sir, you have to look at the game and, like, there's robots. And then they checked again, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, there's robots, right. I'm not sure how that happened the first time. <laughs> Who knows what their application process is like internally. Uh, but we're in now, baby. So you should go tell Germa to play the game, basically. It's all fancy and new. People are saying the mountains look Himalayan. They're 100% Himalayan. Uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything for now. I'm just going to leave the door wide open in case that matters at some point in the future. Um, okay, this is a new encounter type, by the way, uh, where you get these things called fitness jammers, and you don't get any score until you break them, and also the enemies respawn endlessly, so... You basically have to ignore the normal combat for a second and bum rush these jammers. Oh, fuck me. Um, until they're destroyed and then you go back to normal combat. Oops, I'm gonna have to refill my... Shit. I'm gonna have to cheat. I'm not letting this run die. <laughs> or maybe I should let it die, actually. There's nothing new past this point, so I'm just gonna play it out until the end. Oops. Oh, that's it. I fucking killed myself. Well, I showed off all the new content, though. I, I, I just barely made it to all the new content. <laughs> so that's fun. I hope you all enjoyed playing the new demo. This goes to my YouTube channel. Sick. All right, let's play the actual game now. Uh, the new song, it's not on Spotify yet, I'm not sure, uh, but it's on YouTube already, yeah. I think Nahu will upload it to Spotify or something um, eventually. Now who's in chat, by the way, he's the composer for the Rams music. Uh, okay, okay. That was your daily dose of Ram. Now I'm going to go back to Pacific Drive. Hang on a sec. So the update is, asks chat, art revamp, new trick shots, new balancing, new level encounter, and a shop. Uh, yes, there's also some more character dialogue with, like, the boss. Um, it was always planned to be this way, um, where if you beat the boss, you can actually have a conversation with them in a sort of, you know, psychological realm afterward. Uh, so we, we've added, a, like, a demo of what that dialogue is going to be like. There's not a whole lot of dialogue because it is just a demo. We can't really have that much story content, but um, it's that. And, like, some new 
Um, I think there's a couple new levels too. All right, let's go back to full screen mode so I can actually stream the game. There we go. Um, but, oh, what the fuck? Is that? Yeah, I'm reading that right. Okay, a hundred dollars from Tim Paul in chat. Fucking crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. What, what did I do to deserve a hundred dollars? <laughs> Hey, had some good fortune and thought I would share. Good luck at that game award thing. Holy shit. <laughs> I appreciate that. Wow. I, I, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, man. You're going to fund the next phase of development at this rate. You just doubled Ram's budget. Hey, I hope you, you mean like you just won the lottery or some shit then came in to donate. Extremely based. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at that settings menu. That's a fucking nice settings menu, gotta say. This game's all like a um, national parks kind of themed, I think, which is, you know. I, I guess it's specifically the American Pacific Northwest, but we're going to pretend it's in BC because it's funnier. Um, And I've never actually played this game so far beyond the demo that I got to play at PAX, like at the booth, so... This is mostly a blind reaction here. And let me know if the uh, the game volume is too loud or anything, because all I have to go on is the main menu so far. Uh, ooh. Save. Menu. Very good aesthetic in this game. That was the first thing that kind of caught my eye, was like a... I just saw this big, um... Like a poster or a billboard or something at the booth in the distance, and it looked like Firewatch. And I was like, I want to play that, it looks like Firewatch. Yeah, I remember that Algae Satchel was funding the entire uh, election trucking stream saga. Just constant donations, like hundreds of dollars in donations. That <laughs> Love that guy. Let's go. Uh, it's asking if I want to customize settings first. Is there something I gotta know? Um, okay. Camera Bob? Can I change it to Camera Tim? Cool. I'm sure this is fine. Um, this is like motion sickness prevention. Uh, I can check the controls at least. Um, what? Okay, no, I'm, I'm not going to fuck with settings before I've even tried playing the game. That would be silly. Let's just go. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed, except to one mad lad with a station wagon, I think. It is Stalker. It's it's just Stalker in the uh, Olympic Peninsula. That that's the game, and you drive around in an old car. A frankly, S tier premise. Like, absolutely perfect. No notes. Stay on the roads. Other stuff. Ooh, how is the music volume? I, I feel like it might be a bit loud. I have it. The volume set twice as loud as I usually do for a stream game, because the main menu was quiet. 
This is the number one Pacific Drive live stream on YouTube. Nice. Is it the only one? It's okay. All right. Um. All right. Let's go. Very pretty. It looks exactly like BC. It's basically the same thing. Like Washington, Oregon, BC. It's all the same shit. Hopefully there's no oncoming traffic. It's always a little bit awkward to control a card game with a keyboard, but let's, I'll, I want to see how well it works. Very, very nice, uh, like, s nice graphics is what I'm trying to say, though. Those god rays are hitting hard. Oh. Just hitched a little bit there, I wonder if the... Ooh, we got wipers. If uh, the settings are too high. Rendering all those god rays takes all my PC power, apparently. Ooh, they got the big fucking wall. <laughs> nice, like they, some sort of armored core mega structure just sitting in the background. Woo, okay. It's just like actually driving down the coast, all these like weird hairpin turns in the mountains. Very spooky. It's pretty wild to play on like a 10 minute demo at PAX. You got sat down at like a booth and just like told to go at it. You have a limited time before like the world ends and they kick you out. It's awesome. I'm assuming there's no oncoming traffic in the exclusion zone at least. It's even raining. It's very accurate to the actual Pacific Northwest. Yep. I think this is like a cinematic kind of tutorial intro. It's very nice. <clears throat> what was that? Warning? Uh, I'm sure there's <laughs> there's more to worry about than whatever that sign was warning me about. Ooh. You don't want to crash the car in the intro. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> This looks like something. Going off road here. Okay. Is this a scary game? Uh, a little bit? I don't think it's really a horror game, but it's got like some kind of spooky looking shit in it. Oh, that was a, a thing. You can already imagine German air drumming while still driving the car and constantly hitting walls and laughing for half an hour. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That is like, inevitable. Okay, I don't know what those things were, I'm just gonna keep driving. That's fine. You have those where you live too, right? The, the weird kind of potholes that make noises as you drive past them. I don't even know what those are to be honest. This is like some, uh, ew. that's fine. That's just the forest fires. We get those in the summer sometimes. Oh. oh. It's an unusually large forest fire. It might be lethal company scary, maybe a little bit. I don't think it's quite as intentionally, it's not like supposed to be intentionally janky in the way that lethal company is. It might be unintentionally janky though, we'll find out. We got sucked into the Dark Souls 1 DLC. I think it's a little bit framey. I'm gonna see what the settings are like. Um, video. I didn't realize this game would be so intensive. Oh, it's on Ultra. Maybe I'll just turn it down to high. I'm running a 3060, but I'd rather just have it run smoothly. I don't really care about whatever the fuck they're doing on the Ultra setting here. Um, is there like a preset or a... Let's see if that helps.
Oh, it's got a sprint. Nice. It's got some floating debris. I love that. You're back. How's the game? I just finished the uh, intro cinematic, it seems. Ugh. That's fine. It's just a bit of lichen, you know. Uh, unusually active lichen. Hmm. Can I... I could probably use that, right? You can build the car in this game. Can I just grab that and bring it with me? <laughs> it doesn't look like it weighs very much. Um, okay. It's the moss that Chris eats, yeah. It seems to make noises. Caution. So this is the part where you use caution. This part's okay, this is safe, but caution in here. Right. Hmm. The field of view is pretty narrow in this game, which is a bit uncomfortable, but I feel like that's this isn't the kind of game you just crank the FOV. <laughs> it's it's more of an aesthetic choice. I probably could increase the FOV, I'm just saying I... Oh, you don't actually have a foot. It's like a telekinetic mind kick. Uh oh! Someone out there? Tobias? Toby! Uh -oh. huh. what a swan, eh? Toby, it's me! Is Delta Rune done yet? You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Hmm? Hobie, where are you? I gotta put a wheel on the car? Hmm. It's the phone guy from FNAF. It's the same one canonically. They got the rights to have a guy speak through a telephone. Uh. Oh, you gotta hold it down. You gotta charge up your arm strength. Huh, nice. Um, and now it's fixed. It's perfect. It was a fixer upper and I fixed it, so now it's, uh, it's as good as new. I'll see if I can ch set the uh, FOV a little bit higher. Maybe up to 90. Maybe that's better. We'll see. Uh, I like that about the game, actually, is that all the little things in your cockpit here you have to, like, individually interact with. It's not abstracted. Uh... Oh. Yes, it's back. It's back. Yo, Toby. Uh, this is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? Uh, I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. Uh, it looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Okay, yeah, sector hey, Francis, E. Come here. That's what the E means. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Wait, where's. Is he talking to someone else? Or I don't even. I'll just drive. That's what you do in this game, it's the name, right? Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Is there a way to actually talk to him? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. Oh. We won't hear a thing back. Oh, it's two guys talking to each other, Francis and Toby. Could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher. Like Mario and hey, Princess hey, Breach. No one's gotten into the zone in ages and looked to tell about it. And if we yeah, well, joke's on you. I'm not going to live to tell about item. it either. That's a good point. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. East. That's what the E is for. All right. I'm going to drive. Isn't it tragic that that's a Death Stranding reference? That princess... Oh. Princess beach does count as a death. How do I get out, by the way? Oh, you did. Press it twice. 
Can I keep that? That looks like a weapon to me. Uh, siphon gas out of this fucking thing? Is there gas in this? Oh yeah. Uh, I need like a hose, I guess. I've never siphoned gas. I'm not from uh, the apocalypse where you like suck gas out of a cannon. Um, there's nothing... Oh, that's the fuel can? What the fuck? Why has it got like alien slime on it? You. Slurp. Kojima might have gone too far in a few places. She's fragile, but not that fragile. Nice. These are actually maintained by the government of uh, Washington. They, they keep these every, like, a set number of miles down the trail so that if your car breaks down, you can siphon gas from the derelict hulks. Uh, let's go. Ooh. There's a bit of, like, uh, momentum to the camera sometimes. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just intermittent lag. I'm not sure. Isn't that what gas stations are for? Well, yeah, th those wouldn't really fit in with the scenery, though. Okay, put it back into the alien goo. Schlorp. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, let's leave. Oh. Ooh, yeah, the lichen's coming in quick now. Oh, it seems to be like radioactive lichen. That's not the best. It is Phone Guy. This is FNAF. Hasn't been one in decades. <laughs> this is Look the FNAF sequel. Tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. Yeah, I got a car. You know, I, I got wheels. Better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Oh, the oh, car is like an Christ. SCP? No Shit. Here, That's eight. awesome. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, it actually nice runs on the souls of dead children. That's the secret. The Ooh! Oh, it spun out. It spun out. Gotta reverse through the uh, radiation. Back, baby. Maybe this isn't smart. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I'd really like to not be in the radiation anymore, if that's possible. I'm not sure if the radiation does anything or if it just gives me cancer in 20 years. Go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Okay. I'll say hi to Oppie. Opp Opp Oppenheimer? That is short for Oppenheimer, I think. Um, wait, I got headlights, don't I? No, it was. There we go. Uh, which way? Oh, there, that looks like a shelter. The radiation just deleted all my DNA, but I'll be fine for a while. Um, it's Oppie's auto shop. Wait, I should turn the car off. There we go. Um, Trucking Tuesday! Alright. Um, there were no humans in the demo. I wonder if there's a human or if it's another like radio being like in F Fighter Watch, everyone's just gonna be voices on the radio. Um I don't suppose I have a flashlight, do I? Nope. Pretty dark. So that's locked. Maybe I hold it down? No. Oh, I'm still getting some hitches occasionally, that's unusual. I haven't played a game in forever that actually had hitching in it. Close the door. Ooh. Nice place. Toby just emailed Northern Lion about RAM. Hell yeah. 
until the L to the Northern Lion, Northern Lion, coming at you from largely the Pacific Northwest, if you want to get technical about it. Fellow BC boy will surely play Ram. Uh, but this is a... The fuck is that? A capacitor? This is power an, an orbital laser? What the fuck is this doing here? It also just looks like one of those uh, things you drive a car over. I don't know. I, I, I don't play my summer car. I'm not a mechanic. I don't know how cars work. You remember NPR's Radio Lab had a story about a guy who was caught in both the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs and got double radiation sickness but had two healthy children. Well, good for that guy. Yeah, the, uh, the not Nuka-Cola vending machine. This is set in the, um, what is it, 50s, the 80s maybe? It said the 1955, then for 30 years. We might be in like the 80s now. Uh, Game Boy? Or Game Boys from the 80s? I, I, I legitimately don't know when the original Game Boy came out. Like, uh, I know that the, um, the NES was like 1983 or 2 or something. But I don't know about the Game Boy. Oh, it's 98. Okay, that's a bit later, I guess. I missed that. Uh, employees only. Wait, what? Is that just a random number? That's novel. I guess if I did that for long enough, I, I could get in. So I have to solve the puzzle. Ooh. Those cupcakes? You can't actually read the text. Okay. Uh... Oh boy. Okay. Who are you? Five seconds to get the hell out before I Oh my head. Where are you speaking from? Emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. You send the breach into your garage on a yeah. official zone bed. I'm gonna put my now, car in your garage, just hang on. Uh, this person is in possession of a remnant. Mm -hmm. having a some sort of marital spat here. I'm just going to drive into the garage where they talk. How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Yeah. Unless one of the unfortunate... sounds like a violation of my constitutional rights to be here right now. I just remember. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you. To get the hell out of my zone. Too late for that. Uh, can I close the door? The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Uh. Where are you, by the way? Are you just like an AI who lives in the what? walls? You need help? There's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Gotta put on the Valve Index. It's a sponsored game. Um, the fuck is that? The mechanics? I oh, it, it really is like a Valve Index. Holy shit. I'm gonna become a mole man. I canonically have soft hands. I mean, you're not wrong. They used to be a little bit less soft when I did gardening, but... Um, the the danger level is 1559. 
Um, it's missing a door and a trunk. It has 33% water points. Okay. Um, crude door. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I still feel like it's lagging a little bit. Hang on, I really am bothered by small amounts of input lag. I'm going to go down to medium. Put that there. Oh yeah, that's much snappier actually. That's a big difference. Wow. Okay. Apparently you need like a 40-90 to run this game. Oh, there's a thing. What is- what's in here? Oh, I can- I can grow my red DNA back. Thank God. Okay, the, the cancer is averted in 20 years from now. Um... What is... A gas pump? Toolbox. Oh, it gave me a waypoint. I should have looked at that. Um... Okay, we need more tires. The car will be even better with five tires. Uh, can I drop it? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, did one of the tires fall off? Did it never have a front tire? I didn't notice. Oops. God, this car is going to be really impressive with like four tires. <laughs> if that's how well it drives with three. Five tires is the younger brother of looks to the automobile. <laughs> yeah, the um, R Rain World NASCAR AU, or God forbid, the Rain World Cars AU by Pixar. Uh, open OS. Oh, oh, you got like a a HUD. Uh, delivery window. These are quests. Ooh, my, my cool map. Um, I'm here, I have to get there. Is that where I came from or where I'm going though? Because I thought the guy said that I came from E5. But also that was to the east, so I think I came this way and then I'm going up now. Toby can see his house on the map, based. Can slug cats drift? They can drift without a car. I'm sure they could drift with one too. Um, we got lots of infographics. Sick. Okay. The fuck is... Is this just a, a jukebox? Whoa. Uh, I'm not sure what I can add besides that one tire is the thing. It wants me to open the OS. Oh, blueprints! Uh, I can craft a door. Yo, okay. Uh, pin to checklist. Uh, okay. So now, oh, I have to collect the four elements to, to make a door. Is this a being a mechanics like? This seems kind of fun, actually. I should do a My Summer Car playthrough after this gives me, like, the, uh, the auto bug. Um, what is the intent here? I can't do anything to it. Maybe I need like a tool to open it? Oh, here, now the toolbox has become unlocked. Uh, huh. 
Yes. It's got the um, Resident Evil grid inventory. Actually, no, it's the Stalker grid inventory. This is literally how Stalker's inventory works. Pry bar from Half-Life. And duct tape. Sick, okay. Um, yeah. My inventory is open, but now what? Assign a quick slot? Uh, oh. Yeah, I I've assigned it. I did it. Oh, fuck. Uh, and this one in slot two. Yo, okay. <laughs> Mr. Freeman, you will have to fix my car. Yeah, my summer car is, is not the Pacific Northwest. It's the, um... I don't know. The Northern <laughs> Northwest. The Nordic Northeast. Something like that. Ah, sick. Okay. Uh, a flare... Glass. Love to see it. Okay. Uh, I could siphon that, except I don't have a fuel tank. A friendly dumpster. What makes it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's full of ectoplasm, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Normally the CRD would be taking this away, but um, it's built up for too long, so you have like an ectoplasmic issue. Uh, this is some sort of, looks like an Overwatch character should be holding this. Ooh. Cool. Can I grind this? Sick. I can just grind down everything into scrap. Apparently you can extract duct tape from car hoods if you try hard enough. Uh, I have... Oh, I can craft the door now. Nice. No, I don't have enough... Uh, McDonald's drink cups or screws. I'm gonna have to try to get some more of those. My car just succumbed to the elements. Just what I fucking needed. Too true, Mel. Okay, these things are... Oh, those are scrap metal. That's glass. What are the drink cups? How do I get more of those? Oh, that's plastic. Okay, nice. Uh, craft a door in the shop. Okay, it's quite an extensive material management system in this game. It goes pretty far beyond the, uh, the driving aspect. It's like you have to be a whole ass mechanic in your off time. It's only McDonald's Sprite. The, the car is like a special object of power that you can only repair with McDonald's brand Sprite from the drink fountain. Not a can. The back end of those drink fountains are they're horrifying, by the way. They look like squid monsters, like in the back room of McDonald's. It's like a whole half of the room is just covered in like weird plumbing and plastic tubes that snake out to the ceiling that power the drink fountain. Okay, um, I made it make a crude door. I did it. Hey, deploy it. Fuck yeah, the value of the car is tripled.
What if this was the whole game? Like, there was no exclusion zone. You just, like, repaired cars and sold them for a profit. And, like, Germa could play it for seven hours and go on rants about, like, Jigsaw. That'd be pretty marketable, actually. Hati? Okay. Uh, spare tire. Regrow your DNA potion. And just some chemicals. Uh, error. Items insecure. What's wrong with it? What's insecure about them? This one's insecure? What's the, the issue? Okay, that's not allowed. Oh, they don't, they can't cross the lines, maybe? I think that's what it's trying to get at. Ah, okay. They can't cross the lines. Five bucks from uh, Snossib Snob, thank you. Andrew, has it been a warm in the north? west as it has been everywhere else. It's like winter didn't happen. It's been pretty warm, yeah. Uh, we did get a bit of snow this year, which isn't always guaranteed, but recently it's been quite warm. genre of music. Death Stranding Sadcore. Okay, uh, I need a trunk still though. I gotta make a trunk. I can do that. Or can I? An engine? Saying I need to make one of those? What is my next imperative? <laughs> if all else fails, honk. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of fucking data. Oh boy. It's not the kind of thing I can really get into on stream too easily though. Oh my god, this is the first song to be made entirely in vocal fry. Hello Mario. Okay, it, it keeps telling me to open the inventory, but I'm not really sure what it wants me to do in the inventory. Am I missing something obvious here? Did I see do someone doing a live stream drawing the Rambots as cute girls? Was that recent? I did not see that live stream, no. That sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> Everyone should go watch that instead if that's on. Wait, isn't this a real song? Hang on. Uh, am I insane? This sounds like a like real world music. Is the stream gonna get copyright hit? It doesn't matter if it does. The stream isn't monetized, but all right. I don't trust. Oh yeah, I have to fix the hood. That's the goal. Um... Oh, the engine's fucked. That's the issue. Okay. Okay, okay, I removed the engine. <laughs> My character's strong as fuck, by the way. Uh, 
Um, I mean, it's not revolutionary to have IRL music in a game, but I, I didn't grow up playing Grand Theft Auto and stuff with the with their car radios. Oh, there's an objective on the top right? Oh, repair to the car body, I missed that. There's a lot of HUD elements, I didn't notice that one in particular. Um, fix the car, oh, I gotta equip the repair gel. Uh, got it, got it, got it. Oops. Uh, this needs... It's doing work, it's doing good work. Just let that sink in. By which I mean soak in. Uh, 37% repairedness. Schlorp. What does that say? Melik HT. Hey, the car's named Mel. Mel, check that out. Uh, it is improving the integrity of the car. I can see that. The number's going up, so this is working. Whoa, check that out. I wish I could put this on, like, my my PC case and it would just, like, fix itself perfectly whenever there was a problem with it. That's a very satisfying animation, honestly. Uh... Oh, I can't apply it twice to the same part, it seems. They do need to stop putting so many mills in games. The Elden Ring DLC may have mill lore. We'll have to find out. Oh, it needs a bumper, too. Okay. I thought that was the Outer Wilds theme for the first, like, half second when ba 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 ba. <laughs> I was like, Outer Wilds! I know that game! Uh, I will stream the Elden Ring DLC, yes, but that is not until June. Slathering the car in lotion to make it better, I love that. Okay, uh, get yeah, the car's all better now. Uh, is the tire flat? Oh, I have to look at the tire with my mechanic vision. Repair the flat by crafting using a ceiling kit, or replace it with a spare tear. Well, I've already replaced tears. I want to learn how to make a ceiling kit now. What genre of music is this? Um, Pacific. It's Western music. Uh, blueprints. There we go. I need a rubber duck. I need a bunch of rubber. Okay. Um, okay, what can I grind up to get rubber? Maybe a tire? Here we go. My summer tire is now my summer rubber. Uh, there it is. Delicious rubber. Okay. What is this table for, by the way? What is it doing right now? I'm sure it's powering something really important, but like, I probably shouldn't rest my hand on those. Um, there we go. That's the vibes table. <laughs> yeah. It's solely for the feng shui. Uh, where did my thingy go? Oh, I'm at a duct tape. But we know how to get duct tape. We grind up our hoods. Wait, can I grind this up? Hmm. It's not working. Uh, try this. Metal duct tape. I didn't know cars had so much duct tape inside them. Maybe that's what they fill the walls with to make them like collision resistant. It absorbs shock. Uh, it, it absorbs shock rather. I also want lasagna, Toby. Please share that. Uh, okay. Point. Check that out. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that did, but it's better now. 
Uh, mechanics kit. I have one of those. No, that's a flare. Uh, here we go. Fix the wheel. Um, XD? What does XD do? Oh, it's just high beams. Um, oh, gotta scan the wheel? Maybe I leave the car to do that? No, I don't want to go in the car. I just... okay. Oh, the, I thought I meant the steering wheel for some reason. It means the tire. Okay. I, I'm not sure why I didn't really understand that. I thought because we'd already fixed the tire, it must mean a different thing now. Um, uh, mechanics kit. Okay. Um, oh, nice. It worked. Okay. Uh, install a cardboard box? No station wagon is complete without the bin of cardboard. You gotta have it. Put that in there. Uh, beautiful. Nothing's even in those. It's just for aesthetics. It's the same uh, like boxes of shit that's in the um, Hearthian spaceship in Outer Wilds. You never open them. The <laughs> cardboard sands is folded up in there. <laughs> it's really him. A crafting table? Nice. Um, that's sick. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it oh. up to your car, wherever it'll fit. I love an arc device that has no clear function. Yeah, um, I'll install that right away and give myself mecha cancer or something. Oh yeah, that was looking good. It looks like it's gonna record alien transmissions and play them from the car radio or some shit. Uh, okay. It's my co-pilot here. Really cool. Uh, what is this it? This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Sick. Yes. Can it play my, my MP3s? Invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. <laughs> it's a microwave that increases your gas mileage. Yeah, all it does is bathe the interior of the cars in microwaves to keep it warm during the winter instead of having heated seats. That's all it does. Uh. Oh, I took the engine out of the car. I kind of forgot about that. I think it should probably have one of those, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put this back. Perfect. Good as new. Slaps the hood. This bad boy can fit so many arc systems in it. And crafting tables. And IKEA desk lamps. Did they have IKEA in the 90s? I don't actually know. Um, ooh, I can siphon. Check this out. Let nothing go to waste. It's a bit, it's a, a quirk in this game that I remember even from the demo is that you pick things up with E, but then you like use them with left mouse button. It's a little bit confusing at first. Um, can I, there we go. Perfect. Arc system works from Guilty Gear. I'm assuming she won't tell us what it does. Maybe it just runs Guilty Gear. You can host like fighting game tournaments out of your car. That'd be sick, honestly. Just like you roll up with like the smash wagon, <laughs> then all the bros huddle around and play play attorney. Uh, the fuck is that, by the way? A blueprint. Oh, I learned how to make a gear. Nice. And I've learned how to make a mallet. 
an impact hammer as opposed to the non-impact <laughs> hammer. It seems redundant, but maybe there's more types of hammers. Oh, I didn't have to siphon gas from that wreck. I could have just fueled it up normally. Uh, there it is. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Um, it's going to run up my bill here if I'm not careful. Okay. Is there anything in this still? Nope. Oh, that's what this table's for. <clears throat> uh, are you sure it's okay to touch that? If you're Jesus all set, fuck. Take a look at the projector against the wall. Uh uh, where this? This is oh. the zone. Okay. these borders. All matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Nice. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Oh, it patched in roguelike mechanics. I got it. It's caused by something we call instability. No, it's We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched nuclear it, accident just makes ranges, like that the Olympic Peninsula into a roguelike. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's mm. what you're standing in now, and that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. Okay. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. <clears throat> probably here though, right? Like the only other thing on the map? It's probably there. Three hours, really? That's like three... Um, American hours though. They're much shorter than the Canadian ones, uh, to my knowledge. So it shouldn't be that long. Um, this is like the lowest sensitivity cursor of all time, by the way. Like, this is my mouse traveling across the entire width of my, like, uh, desk here. Mm, okay. Oh, that's just the same inter interface. Uh, cool. Everything in this game looks really cool. I, I do like it. Uh... What did that do? I'm not sure. It charged something. Maybe the lights should probably turn off. I'm gonna drain the battery. There we go. Uh, okay, we have like... Info. This is a GPS. Um, can I... It says to use the mouse to pan, but... Oops, no. No, don't do that. Uh, scrolling does not seem to change the map. You can see the zoom number changes, but the map looks the same. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. What if I try it again? I don't know if I misunderstand that or it's if it's broken. Um, pull the lever, Kronk? Oh, is it not on? Is there- oh, gotta pull the, the lever. Maybe. Uh, wait, no, that's just the root planner again. Do I have to click this first? You have to put the golf ball meter in? Oh. Um, select toggle selected. What is this like in the Dark Souls menu when you have like two different menus that you switch between? Or am I looking at different places? Hold left click? Oh, you hold it down! Okay. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. 
Hmm, that's that's a sort of an annoying quirk of the UI is that when you just click, the um, the actual circle for holding it down doesn't even come up because it's too fast. Okay, I did it. I selected the destination. I've pulled the lever. Hit the lever. Okay. Yeah, it's it's part of the. Oh my god. There's always something. It's like actually trying to go on a road trip. There's always something you forgot outside the car. You have to go back and check on it. Um, unless... Oh, that's the destination. Never mind. I'm not going to be able to get to there <laughs> by walking. Um, I could make a bumper for the car, by the way. Maybe I should try to do that. Uh, unless... A computer? Consumer electronics. Guess I might as well scrap it. Sick. Okay. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, the UI is designed. It's like specifically unstreamlined. It's all baroque and fiddly and cool looking, which uh, I do appreciate a lot. But it also increases the learning curve of like navigating. There's just, like, a lot of information. <laughs> it's got a cooling fan array on the doohickey. wonder what the fuck that thing does. This monitor is running a Linux server. This is someone's, like, a... Uh, uh, like, qu Quake multiplayer game that's that's been running for 20 years. On this PC. Uh, yeah, that, that all looks good. Maybe I should equip a first aid kit. That seems prudent. Always always be prepared, right? Um, that's a spare tire, not a donut. It looks like a donut, but it's a spare tire. Okay, drop, equip, rearrange, assign. Um... Okay, that did not assign it a quick slot. It's C? You hold it down. You always hold it down. Here. No, wait. Fuck. Um, there it is. Okay. Again, UI is fiddly in this game. I, if I'm struggling, it's because it's just a bit fiddly. Um, there's thingamajigs everywhere. There's a glut, a profusion of thingamajigs, truly. Okay. Can I interact with this now more, or is it... Um, hmm. It doesn't seem like I can interact with it more than I could, which maybe means I can't actually scroll the screen. Oh. Uh, exit road. Okay, I, I don't really need to fiddle with this now, do I? I wonder what this little ball does, by the way. Like, what the fuck does that indicate? It's just a ball in a tube. That shows the proximity of Bill Nye, the science guy, to the vehicle. Gotta watch out. Oh, that shows how much I'm balling. Balled so hard they thought I was a fucking nutsack. Uh, that is a something? Can I zoom in on that at all? I don't know if there's like a look closer button. Uh, what's that? The fuck? What what is the function of this device? Uh abilities. Uh I don't have like an EMP installed yet, so never mind. Okay, this shit is wacky. That's that's something that's like my alarm clock and that's the health bar maybe. That's just a normal car HUD. Th these are numbers. That's XD. Oh, that's high beams. Okay. Um, oh no, it's just headlights. There, there are no high beams. Um, I'm trying to familiarize myself with my cockpit before I go here. This is important. You have to know your your machine. We need the laser cannon. Where's the MacGuffin for the reticulating splines? I need to know where the MacGuffin knob is. Flip the switch, shit switch, hit the diarrhea dial. 
Oh, there's another thing up here. This is this is my graphics card. I had to turn it on to make the game run faster. That was my mistake. That's the radio. Okay. Um, there's a 1 in 10,000 chance that Golden Freddy is in the back seat every time you turn around. The developer told me that. It's real. Um, I guess I should probably go. I'm, I'm procrastinating. Oh yeah, we're running. Uh, wait, is that... It shows if you're in park on the dashboard? It does, okay. Uh, what is that one on top of it, though? Does that mean that doors are open? They're not close the doors? And there's a, a plus sign. I don't know what the fuck that means. Let's just go. Okay, so I, I'm going north, I believe, right? I think I'm going north, basically. Yo, I got to the part where you drive. Am I still missing a door? I thought I replaced the door. I think we have all the doors, it's just the trunk is missing. Oh no, wait, the waypoint is the other direction. Fuck. I've already taken a wrong turn. Uh, turning around is a bit of a task in this game, actually. There's not very good visibility out the back window. Gonna have to do like a nine point turn here. Oh fuck. That's fine. Alright, good start. Are we there yet? This would be a good stream if I had the capacity for that, to have like a chat donate for uh, audio to play during the road trip. They could be like the radio station. I don't even know if you can do that with a YouTube live stream though. Okay, we're passing an FBI watch point. Uh, what does that say? Launch. Launch and construction. Were they launching rockets here? 80 plus decibels. I think they were launching rockets. Oh! It, it hit me with the mandatory tutorial. Or HUD. Uh, wait, what? Did I just fast travel? Oh shit, wait. There's fast travel in a game about driving? What just happened? Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that. Maybe you're loaded yours. an instance. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Oh, Look for okay. a research trailer or a spark tower. Oh, okay. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Cool. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. So I think what happened is I, I loaded like a new instance that has to randomize the map, so it's not actually a full open world. It, you go to a place and then it gives you like a, a small randomly generated open map. That makes sense now that I think about it. Um, okay. Uh, does that look like plasma to you, chat? That looks kind of like it's made of the plasma. Is picking up on some plasma generators yeah, nearby. yeah, this meth lab Your is operating on scanner. plasma. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay. It's always... Never leave your car without putting it in park, it's unsafe. Uh, yep, that is plasma. Pretty cool. Um, yep. Yep. Plasma. Okay. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. This is Heisenberg's Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Oh. I know how to make one of those. Score the universal X. Uh, can I go in the meth lab? No. What if... Uh... Okay, it wants me to make this. I need gas and I need some... Well, presumably innocent gears. I haven't unlocked the guilty Find ones materials yet. by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, mm. homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot cool. away. I'm looting. Look at you. I'm the 
the zone all on your own. Hey, Toby's they back. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. What if Just I scrap this? Uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Please tell me yes, I fight the Sasquatch. I, go another your voice again. I want to run into the Sasquatch and crash the car. To death. Hello to you too, Oppy. And no, I'm still here. It's, it's just a big happy family living out in the irradiated woodlands going crazy together. You love to see it. Um, I'm assuming if I use the scrapper on this, it like explodes in a nuclear blast and I die instantly, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, the fuck were they doing in here, by the way? Is this what you get instead of flashlights in this game? I guess so. Uh... Rubber. Okay. Um, that's not full of McDonald's Sprite, so it doesn't count. Uh, 9 volt? Cool. That'll give my items one room less charge time. Uh, high velocity particles. So this is a particle accelerator meth lab. They found a new advanced way to create meth, which is to blast it with high energy beta radiation. Duct tape. Okay. What is this thing? Oh, a copper wire. Nice. You can use that to create basic circuits. A t-shirt? Am I naked? Can I put this on? Maybe it's like rust where you spawn completely naked every time. Uh, chemicals? Pressure. Ooh, the gas cylinder. Th that's what I need, but my inventory is full of shit. Can I put them in the back of my station wagon, maybe? Uh. Oh, I totally can. That's what they're for. Okay, put the spire tire in here, obviously. Um. Electronics and shit. Hey, uh, uh driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, I'd love that, Can yeah. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Yeah, Fine. Please. I'm giving you 60 seconds. All the spray. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects. Well, okay, okay. All sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get Fuck acquainted. Fuck yeah, it's just the, uh, the, the controller. It's an object of power. become gradually more obsessed with it. Oh yeah. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. Awesome, that's what I was going to no do anyway. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. Yep. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, I'm already feeling the urge to play my summer car. And all. Gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out of that thing, it was And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will okay. broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. Cool. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Fuck Tobias. Uh, oh, those are overlapping. Hang on. Um, wait, what? Oh. Uh, we're good. Okay. These could be more densely packed. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so now I'm going to make uh, a, a hammer. It gives you car autism. <laughs> it says chat. Damn. I hope it really d it, it being obsessed with like cars being the guy who just has a car on their lawn and repairs it constantly but it's never finished that is already a type of person so this is this isn't a supernatural effect it's just what happens when you get into car maintenance car talk vibes <laughs> Apparently in this canon, meth is old school and the drugs are now broadcast from a drug satellite, presumably owned by Elon Musk. Um, this is only the, like, 98 though, right? So, 
it can't be that futuristic. We don't have future drugs in 98. Uh, impact hammer. Oh, I need to get the gears still, but I have to make the gears. This is just Factorio. I learned how to make gears. Um, gear. Okay, scrap metal becomes gears. They have funny writing in this game, apparently. You love to see it. Okay, a couple of those. Uh, okay, I don't know why the hammer needs gears. But here we go. Oh, it's pneumatically assisted, so it's like a mechanical hammer. Got it. Um, okay, hang on. Let's unequip the... Oh. Why is it so hard to... No, I don't want to use the first aid. Um, I want to... The hammer. This thing. Put this in the quick slot. There we go. So, the scrapper's not good, but this jackhammer is going to be fine on the plasma cell here. Oh. Oh, you're just supposed to break it open like a... Okay. Well, that's easy. It's like a loot crate. Good thing the whole tube wasn't filled with plasma, otherwise that would have been big trouble, am I right? Alright, let's go. Okay. I attained the doohickey. Uh, let's get going. Oh, come on. Nice. Um, have you detected any more plasma system here? Oh, now I can zoom in. Okay, the last map was too small to zoom in on, I think. I think I just followed the yellow brick road and pick up plasma cells from meth labs. That is the game. Okay, let's do that. Optional quest objective, though? Oh, wait, what? Um... I'm looking up to the corner like I can see the objective. <laughs> Smash plasma generators. Um, oh, I should be I should be collecting parts from the meth lab. I already looted the meth lab though. I think we're good. I got all sorts of parts. I can do more crafting a bit later. What is that? Should I just not be asking questions like that? What is this thing, by the way? Ooh, a light. Nice. This is the one you turn on and your dad screams at you to turn it off. Um, we're back to lag, interestingly enough. Hmm, if the game's this hard to run, and I have a pretty decent PC, it might be like... some sort of post-launch instability more so than it actually being hard to run. It could be like Elden Ring. It was fucking framey for the first while after it launched. Uh, okay, that. Okay. You don't want to pull up too close to that thing, apparently. They have those in uh, Vancouver. If you stay too long in a parking spot, those things turn on and set your car on fire. Um, so I just have to, like, run in here and, like, let this thing zap me. Or maybe it doesn't target humans, only cars. Oh no, it, it targets you all right. Yep. Ow. Nice. And it turns off the zap tower. Uh, oh, I'm full of shit now. Uh, stack that. Sprite, you love it. Uh, and the duct tape. I could just take the whole tire, I guess, but it's kind of hard to fit compared to the raw materials. What's making that? Oh, I gotta go get that one too. These fucking things are everywhere. What are these even doing? Like, literally, what is this doing? It just shoots lightning into the ground. It's probably part of Starlink or something. 
little flower. It's a Trina's lily. Oh, and then I can scan the anomaly? Spark tower. Is that all they do? They just generate sparks. It's, it's again... It's the Washington Department of Tourism just maintains these things, and no one quite knows why. Uh, right, that looks a bit dangerous. Uh, very good source of glass shards, smashing plasma. What the fuck? Why is there like a candy cane texture floating in the sky here? If you go past this, do you get Christmas pills? Do you turn into a... Noel Holiday? I'm scared to find out, actually. Huh. Uh, I already smashed that one. Okay. It's Aurora Borealis. Localized entirely within the Olympic Peninsula. You need seven human souls to get past that one, bucko. Ah, fuck. I can scan the vehicle. I now know what wrecked cars are, I've learned. Okay, my character is learning all the time. Ooh. Interesting ground render in there. I only have one headlight? Fuck, I gotta fix that. Wait. Huh. Okay, what's making that nice? Server owners turned on the world border so they can't lag the server. <laughs> yeah, this game's actually massively multiplayer. It's um, There's 400,000 people on the same map, but the map is so big that you'll never meet each other. Um, there's actually 15 quintillion times the surface area of Earth. It's really impressive. Um, okay, let's go. Turn off your headlights during daytime, too. Don't want to waste power. Is there a battery in this car? I, oh, no, I, I can see it there. I think that's the battery life. Surely it recharges, though, right? That, that's how cars work. The battery recharges while you drive. Um, it probably would be smoother on a controller to turn this thing, I will admit. But there's a lot of mousy type shit to also control in this game. Okay, this one's been infected with the thorns of the guilty or something. With the corpse of Godwin is seeping up and infecting that meth lab. You hate to see it. There we go. There's also some sort of noise. Oh. That's a bit worrying, actually. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll get inside before that eats me. Lord. Okay. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. Nice. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. The fuck is that? I can scrap it. All right. Is that thing coming back? I'm gonna hide out in the bathroom here. Oh, they pulsate. Nice. Uh, the ominous vines also pulsate sometimes. Love the sprite. Can I also scrap the whole box? Uh, wait, does it come inside? What the fuck's happening out there? Uh, yeah, pick that up. It's a pretty fucking big meth lab, holy shit. I actually just got the impulse to right click to scan like this is lethal company. The fuck is going on out there? Uh, can I just close the door? I think it tried to come inside, but it doesn't fit obviously. Delicious. 
an MRE. Oh, sick. Um, I didn't know you had to eat in this game. That's cool. Oh, it's just pills. Hazmat cabinet. Do I got a crowbar this, maybe? There you go. Pressure gas. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough crowbar. Oh, this is an unlooted cabinet. Not for long. Uh, oh, it's right there. Wow. When does that thing go away? I'm just gonna... I can kind of hear it. My health is dropping? Oh, fuck it is. Why? Is it because that thing's close by? Maybe I should just get out of here. Uh... Wait, where's my car? Why are there so many of those? Wait, is that my... My car is over there? Oh, that's coming for me, maybe. Uh, that's not good. I, I don't remember parking here at all. Get in. Let's go. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Okay. Yeah, let's not fuck with those. My health is at 35%, which is not ideal. I don't think the car has auto drive. That would be kind of silly, but who knows. What the fuck is that? The ground just kind of moved. I'm sure that's fine, though. Uh, let's check out this barrel real quick. Fine, I'll turn the car off. Uh, uh, what? What's wrong? I don't know what this thing means. Oh dear, what, what is that? That's nothing. Barrel. Oh, scrapping a crafted... Wait, what? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with that? That, that barrel's an anomaly. That, that thing's an SCP, okay? You don't scrap them, you just run. Um, I should try using the first aid kit that I brought. For this exact purpose. Yoinky Splinky. Alright. And that's me growing my DNA as we speak. Oh, I can't get in there. I should probably prioritize the uh, generators at this point. Yeah, it's, it's a deep rock galactic barrel, exactly the same physics. They patched it in. <laughs> You're appreciating the wise words of the Colossal Pounding Unit. I'm very glad. Joseph Anderson Barrel. What do you even mean? Uh, wait, I shouldn't park... I should park on the road so I can actually make my getaway here. Don't be dumb about it. There we go. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, fuck, I'm getting zapped. Hang on. Gotta get out of here. I parked too close to the tower. Okay, that should be better. Wait. There's two inputs there, but they're both E. Have I seen the Joseph Anderson Broke Bug Snacks video? I have not. It is it is funny to me that people make now videos just about how Joseph Anderson breaks the fuck out of games, because that really is just any of his streams. <laughs> That's what they're all like. 
He doesn't just play them, he finds some way to like make them shit their pants. Um It's getting a bit battered and like hit by lightning, but it seems to be okay overall. Uh how many plasma cells am I up to? Probably a good few now, right? Six. Okay, that, that's enough to do the thingy, I think. Okay, let's just roll these on the cart. My scrapper's almost out of gas, it looks like. It has a love heart, though. What does that mean? I have a high emotional bond with my scrapper. Okay, throw all this junk in here. Uh, I think I have to get to that radio station up ahead. Which is... Oh yeah, it's the big green thing. I just have to, have to drive for a while, specifically. Joseph Anderson doesn't so much attract glitches as he, like, causes them. It's not the same as Vine Passive, where anytime Vinny plays a game, he'll just get weird glitches. Joseph goes out of his way to, like, break the game, to exploit any weaknesses that it may show, and then revels in it. Ooh. I can buy a, a sandwich from the gas station here. Delicious. Uh, it's an American. I don't know how to read that. It doesn't actually rocket fuel, space glow, something. It's like deep rock galactic beers. Employee only box room. The fuck is that? Can I just. Huh! That worked. Let's get looting. He found a new crash in a Star Wars Jedi Survivor game. Good for him. Good for Joseph. Um, it, it did make his Outer Wilds playthrough kind of brutal, though, because he was like, he skipped past, like, some really important puzzles just by janking the game intentionally. Uh, mm. Keep your eye on the... <laughs> Some Bill Cipher is in the game here. Hi, Bill. I hope you get to meet him. Can I... Ooh. The looting. The looting opportunities. Uh, I could scrap it. Can I just turn it on and listen to it? I guess not. I can't actually use that can. Uh, okay, the spooky room is back here. Good shit. I'm now running out of flares. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. Eyes to the horizon. Uh... Did, did she say a monster is going to eat me, basically? Uh, where's Gravity Falls set again? It's like uh, Oregon, maybe? I can't quite remember. It's some place like this. I guess that can stay here. Wait, oh, I, can I pump gas here? Oh, I can. Nice. I barely used any, but... Uh... Oh, that thing's coming. Ooh, time to get out of dodge. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I don't know what the fuck those things are, but they seem to drain my health or something. Okay. A little bit bumpy here. Ugh. Uh, the fuck? That is... Oh, they had these in the demo. It's like a horrifying Pompeii mannequin. Uh, I don't know what they do. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, oh. Off 
road for a sec. Okay, there's your gas gauge. Average Belgian road? It's not in Belgium. This is an off. Don't get distracted. See all those conifers? That is 100% Pacific. Uh, oh, that's just a barrier. Not lootable. Something just blooped on my HUD, but I'm not sure what it was. Okay, this looks promising. <laughs> Me going to the Belgian meat factory in the middle of the plastic sea. I love a meat factory. Oh, this is the broadcast tower. Oh yeah, I guess it looks kind of like a broadcast tower. Um, okay, what do I do here? Oh. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. Wait, I just have this now? But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. Oh. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. Okay. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Oh. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so it's no it's the ball, isn't it? The little ball on the left is what makes it work. You don't. I, I, I'm wise to your shit. Um, okay, so these things are like you. You have to go get. It's like the elephant's foot in Lethal Company. You have to go take the big glowing thingy out of the thingy, and it like irradiates you a little bit, but it gets you out of the. Um, the roguelike instance. Let's do it. It seems to be one right down the road here. Okay. God, I wish you could see out the back window a little bit better. Here we go. Hi chat, what's going on? Uh, hello, maniacal positivity new chat member. This is Pacific Drive. It's a funny kind of roguelike, I guess, where you drive a car around the real-life Pacific Northwest. And that's it. That's all that happens. Well, I got an audio log. Check that out. But first, 10 bucks from JMH. Once again, thank you. Um, shout out to the elephant foot keeping things real. All of my homies like the elephant's foot. Used to lick that back in middle school. We took friends licking it. For no reason. That's just what we did. We were hard like that. Uh, wait, how do I play the audio log? Oh, I waited too long. It's gone away now. Shit. Okay. That damaged my car slightly. Uh... I want to go this way, it seems. Ooh, but, okay, can I go around that? Uh, yes. That was a tight squeeze. Oh, that looks like, yeah, that's the thing, yep. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Uh, that's wipers, alright. Okay. Wait, why am I holding this thing still? No, wait, I want that. Um, can I put this in the car? Uh... Where is it? Oh, there it is. My hands are an inventory slot. Just put that in there. Nice. Okay, I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen when I take this out. Yeah, power lines are good. 
I want to get some power lines into the first ram level now. That's still on the docket. Got to get some power lines in there. Uh, okay, it's making particles. Okay. Radiation level is 2.5 thousand. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Mm. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. What if I lick it? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get going. I feel strongly and for no particular reason that you should get back to the station wagon now. Uh. Oh, fuck. This took me so long to figure out in the demo. You only get one chance, and I was like, you have to go to the passenger side, and you have to put it into the socket. And I couldn't figure that out. Yeah, you gotta clonk it. Right there. Nice. Oh, it just consumes it. Nice. Okay. Um. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. Right. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay. How do I do that? Uh. Is there like a doohickey? Is there a button? You didn't tell me how to activate it. I don't know what's going on over there. There's a an objective on my HUD here, but maybe the car needs to be on? I can't figure it out, chat. I can't I can't do it. Oh yeah, that's uh Mel reminded me that yeah, there was an essay I saw a video essay about Splatoon, which I, I don't play Splatoon at all, I don't know anything about Splatoon, but um it makes a, a reference to my Undertale video in the opening, and so I I watched it because I was curious, but it ended up being a really good video and I watched most of it despite knowing nothing about Splatoon otherwise. Um what was the channel again? I forget the name of the channel. What, is another one right here just for free? I'll sit. Might as well grab that. Fucking Tuesdays! Uh, what's that? Okay. Who else uh, used to watch Trucking Tuesdays? One of the best all time Yogg's Cast series, honestly. Uh, ooh, 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 I don't like that noise. Let's put it in. Good shit. Oh, uh, what's? Okay, that doesn't look good. Let's get out of here. It was Cosmic Cloud as the channel. It was one of those essays. It had a bit of a. Uh, the, the title struck me as a little bit over dramatic, but it was one of those things I had to have a soft spot for it, where it was like. This game kind of fucked up my brain a bit, and I'm just going to explain how, and it, it's okay if I sound like a lunatic. I was like, oh yeah, that's just my Undertale video. So, uh, okay, really, how do I actually leave, though? Seriously, seriously, though. Um, waypoint, zoom, legend, back. Select gateway coordinates. Oh, i got to select the coordinate. Oh, there's gateways. I thought those were something else. Okay. Um, you see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Uh, the pillar. I don't see it, actually. I'll keep an eye out. Do you see the pillar chat? Oh, that? Or is that the instability? Oh, that's the pillar. Okay. Um, all right. I guess we got to go off road. Okay, radiation has increased a lot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck. Uh. Okay. Good thing the car is very sturdy. Okay, 
skip to the pillar. Okay, I didn't realize this this is how it would end. Uh this kind of mad dash through the forest to a pillar of light. That's kinda cool. Um I'm starting to understand the structure of how this game works. There's like it's run based. You have to get back to the extraction point before you get blended. I'm assuming if you wait too long, like a German neck spot just chases you down and kills you. It's a go! Hmm. Well, that wasn't so bad. My health is at 18%. Oh, well, well. You're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have oh. made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Oh. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so anchor bring back juice. as many as you can. It's like just how... because I haven't used that oh, garage yeah. in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Yep. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? You're gonna have to show prove that you have a physical body first before I can take this threat seriously, Oppie. I'm sorry. Um... Oh, my HUD is- my eyeballs have uh, started to melt in the radiation. I, I gotta fix that first. Hang on. Yeah. Good shit. All the DNA is back where it's supposed to be. No longer any melanomas. Um. What is that then? It's a heavy duty lock. Okay. Uh, is this the back room? I have an objective for the back room. The hammer? Oh, you can just do that. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. It's the Vargvac. Varg Skeletor? Uh, what does it do? The fuck? Did that steal my soul? What just happened? My ankles don't have a soul anymore. And like a 30 centimeter high horizontal slice. <laughs> yeah, this is the gaster basement, literally. Uh... The fuck? That's just a music visualizer. You can't fool me. Uh, oh, it's a tech tree. You gotta do tech research. Um, oh my god, this is like the whole fucking Factorio. The entirety of Factorio is encoded within this terminal. Jesus Christ. You can make an Olympium torch? I don't even know what Olympium is. Is it literally just material taken from the Olympic Peninsula? It only occurs here. <laughs> this machine is what sucks your soul into Delta Rune. It, it, that's the red soul. That's where they come from. Um, yo, shit. A crude panel and a bumper and a, a whole ass handbrake for me. And a vac and a rubber ducky and squid game huggy wuggy. Okay, I gotta go unload some shit here first. Um, sick. Uh, there seems to be lots of panel slots here. Okay, hang on. Put all the shit away. 
Could probably use the repair jelly. There. Um, does the repair jelly just heal it to full? How does that work? Oh yeah, it maxes it out. Nice. Uh, okay. You've got to apply the moisturizing cream, otherwise your car's not going to last long at all. Can I make Asgore's campaign truck? I might be able to. It seems like you can modify it quite a bit. Maybe I can get like a loudspeaker on top that just broadcasts custom MP3 files. <laughs> That would be awesome. It has no purpose. All, all it does is attract all the anomalies and the Babadooks to eat you, but... You know, you, you gotta get the campaign message out there somehow. Those votes aren't gonna gather themselves. Okay, that, that door's okay. This panel needs the cream, though. Uh, does the cream run out? It seems like I have a lot of cream. Okay, that one's good. The bumper needs the cream, though. Look at that soak in. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, well, it's looking all right. Okay, there was some more shit in here, though. Handbrake. How the fuck do I carry that? Okay, the bumper... It's not really gonna... fit too easily. Check my gas cap. I don't know what the fuck a vacuum is for, besides cleaning out like the french fries that accumulate on your carpet in the car, but I don't have any of those. I wish I had french fries. Spare putty. You love to see it. Okay. I'm carrying a. The fuck even is this thing? This is a handbrake? Wait. Does anyone in chat know about cars? Where does the handbrake go in the car? The scheme appeals to the male fantasy of having an intimate relationship with your car. That is, um. I mean, it can't really outcompete my summer car in that regard, but uh, that's the the shift. The handbrake goes like here, right? Or is there some UI in this room that I have to install the handbrake with? Ah, uh, that's that's blocking my HUD. Fuck. Um, Fabra station. Okay. Car body. I can learn how to craft panels, but I don't think I want to use crafting. I want to install this. A pneuma tube. The fuck does this do? Maybe it's like the box in Stardew Valley where Mayor Lewis gives you a like a, just a, a carp every now and again. Uh, this is another pneuma tube. Assemble an antenna with the fabrication. Oh, I gotta make an antenna, okay. Antenna trucking. Scanning antenna, oh, there it is. I need um, the plasma, the scrap metal. How do I have 63 scrap metal, by the way? And the broadcast transmitter. All right, let's fab it. Fuck, that's efficient, okay. Um, what do I do with this? Oh, I see. So the upgrades to your car come in these little, like, gachapon capsules. I wonder what you do with them, though. Um, because I can pick it up. <laughs> Warning hands only. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's kind of ominous. Install it on the roof. What, there? Oh, the roof of the building. Okay, um... How the fuck do I get up there? Here we go. 
Hmm, rooftop access. That's kind of aesthetic, actually. I can have a smoke up here with Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi in the evenings. Uh... Holy fuck. That capsule really does the job. It really works. It really Activity does this shit. Coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Uh, okay. What does this do? It gets Wi-Fi or something? Can I play World of Warcraft now with with, with less than a thousand ping? I love pulling that lever. Whatever it does. Um, yeah, I, I gotta find where to put this fucking handbrake. Get the handbrake. Oh, that's my new quest. Okay. Uh, in the engine bay? You put it in... Oh, what the fuck? Uh, it looks like the I found the urinary tract of the of the car. Um, okay, so just wait. What? Just no. Oh. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Okay, it's in there. Um, where do I put the shit that I take out of the trunk, though? Where's my master box stash? Wait, the dumpster just gives me free shit? That's awesome. Okay. Um, wait, what the fuck is that? Transfer trunk. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I can, it's like a crate. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Yeah, uh, hang on a sec. There's so much shit on the HUD right now. Are you seeing this? I have a whole laundry list on the side. Headlights. I need headlights. Fix the headlights. Fix the tires. Uh, use the transfer. Unload the materials in the trunk into the this thing. Uh, can I like install this in the car? Oh, like this. Okay. Just like that. You want to keep the spare tire though, of course. Can I repair this thing? I don't know. We pissing right now. Very true chat. Okay, so I got this box. Um, where's my infinite chest to store all the shit in? Where, where is that? Not there. The cabinet, I guess? That might help. Okay. Can I put the transfer trunk in a box itself? Apparently not. Can I put it in here, though? Uh, uh, uh. It doesn't look like it. It might just be for the base. I don't think I can take it with me. Okay. Just joined, why are they talking about piss? Uh, they just do that also uh, independently, but um, I did reference the, uh, it was like the, some component of the car looked like a urinary tract. All right, so that's closed. Um, I gotta fill up the tank. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta do your checks and balances before you head out. Otherwise you're gonna get burned on the post-apocalyptic trail. Um, equip the nutty putty once again. Uh, no, no. Wait, I wanna... Quick slot it. I'm getting better at traversing the UI slowly. Okay. My cart almost completely repaired. Oh, this tire's a bit fucked.
takes a lot to repair a tire, huh? Uh, and this door got damaged somehow? Okay, good. Cart is repaired now. Perfect. Um, got to check your tires. Gotta check your tires. Um, wait, what? Oh, this one's flat. Fuck. Uh, did I have a ceiling kit? I have to make one of those, I think. Uh, ceiling kit. Oh, I got tons of shit. Easy. Um, here we go. Yeah, we sealed the shit out of that. Uh, fix the headlights. You only had one working headlight. Uh, I guess I gotta make one of those at the crafting table. Uh... Oh, a headlight? I need... What, you put flares in the headlight? I don't think that's how it works, but I don't know. I, I've never actually made a headlight before. Okay, well, how do I get more flares? There's some on the ground back here. But... I used up a lot of them on the last uh, quest. Wait, does this thing regenerate? I guess that's the uh, instability that <laughs> it explains anything that may not make sense is the instability and it, it just works okay perfect you just don't question it how do I repair the scrapper because this thing is gonna break imminently and I, I I need I have scrapping to do another 10 bucks from JMH you're also really funding the stream this time thank you one more. Uh, if Asriel is making Undertale and Deltarune, does that mean he made the Halloween hack too? Does Pizza Pants embarrass him by bringing up the 2008 gamer words in front of other people? Absolutely. Like 100%, a million percent. Asriel is just Toby's self insert for sure. I know this because he's the only person in the universe who's been recorded to like a uh, religious ska. And other ska too. What's that song? Toby Fox's favorite song. He's actually mentioned in an interview is, um, I think called Suikin Kitsu by a band called the Tokyo Paradise Ska Orchestra. To Tokyo Ska Paradise Orchestra. Something like that. Um, and I've listened to it and it's a really fucking good song. He's not wrong. It's, it's a real banger. Uh, I'll type the name of it in chat. I think I remember it. Uh, so you can get to, which apparently is the name of like a, uh, a thing. It's like a Japanese thingy, a very specific thingamabob that you bury in a garden. It's like a pot upside down and it water drips into it and makes like an echoing drip noise. And that's all it does. And they have a word for that in, in Japanese. It's amazing. Ska kind of goes hard sometimes, I gotta say. Uh, well, sp specifically that ska. But the, I always remember that song in um, Rhythm Heaven Fever, I think. Which was... I, I really liked that it. it was in like the biplane minigame. And I, I realized afterward that was ska the whole time. And I was like, fuck. I got tricked into liking ska. They have a German word for a pen at a reception desk. That's pretty cool. You always gotta have pens at reception desk. Die reception desk in penna. That's the word. Okay, what the fuck is this part of the shed? They have an atomic bomb in here. Or a jet engine, maybe? I gotta get that guy from the Phantom Menace 12 hour review to describe the specs of this turbo jet engine. For half an hour. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Am I stuck? Nope. Okay. You can unstuck yourself if you try hard enough. Um, 
So this is for later in the game when I can install a, a jet engine the size of the car itself to the roof and go at 400 miles per hour. That's true. English has a word for throwing someone at a window, which is... That's pretty good. Um, where's my big hammer? Oh, I put it away. I just gotta make a headlight. Where is that gun? Here we go. Two headlights. We're gonna be so fucking powerful. But this is a crude one and this is a normal one, so it's like asymmetric, quirky ass steampunk headlight setup. Awesome. You still don't have a back bumper. Can I make one of those before we go, maybe? I can. Just right off the bat. Easy. Slap that right on. Wait, it comes pre-damaged? That's no good. I just built this fucking thing and it's already damaged. This one's okay. Uh, panels and doors and bumpers. I could install more panels. Oh. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna need more duct tape for that, though. Which means more scrapping. Yeah, we're eventually we're gonna upgrade ourselves to those, like, LED xenon headlights that just blind you instantly if you're in the opposing lane. Luckily, no one in the exclusion zone is allowed to be in the opposing lane, because it's an exclusion zone, so we can use them without fear of repercussion. Ooh, I got a metal sheet. That's, like, high-tech. can craft a chronosynclastic infundibulator with that. Okay, I, one suggestion. I want a mod for this game immediately that replaces all this music with like the same genre but in Finnish. Just like sad mumbly Finnish radio. It would get me in the headspace, you know? Um, oh, I didn't get enough duct tape from that. Oh, fuck. Wait, can I just keep using it? How does this thing work? Does it just generate these over time? Like, whatever. I need duct tape though, really. The computer grows back too, uh, but it does not contain duct tape. Rats. Fuck. Wait, can I just build a new one of those, maybe? Let me see. Uh, you need a scrapper. Oh yeah, they're not too expensive. Nice, 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 nice. But this one doesn't have a love heart next to it anymore. So it's obviously worse somehow. Uh, metal sheeting. Um, dude, it's not going to give me any fucking duct tape. The scrapper no longer loves me, I have to earn its affiliation back. Um, no duct tape still. The tires are made of duct tape, probably. Uh, nope, just rubber. There's nothing left to even scrap on the car. It's completely gutted with no duct tape to be found. All right, well, we don't have the budget for panels. I could make a battery jumper, though. Uh, how do you do that? Oh, I need more batteries, though. I don't have any of those. Okay, I think we'll just have to head out as is. I've already gassed up. Uh, let me sort through my cupboard here. Okay, we're gonna want... What does this do?
Oh, it just sucks up all of the loot. Okay, that's actually quite useful. Uh, it just hoovers it up, so you, you don't have to rummage through the meth labs manually. Uh, that's always good. Let's install that. We're gonna want... The hammer is always useful to get into locks and to get the plasma. Uh, I, I have to... I have to draw the line there, Mel. Using the car is not erotic. It, it will never be erotic, Mel. Just play Alan Wake 2 at this point. <laughs> oh, you, you've identified my Finaboo tendencies. Yeah, that, that is a Finnish game. Maybe I should play it. I played Control. I thought it was okay. <laughs> the Burger Pants and Azimuth. It replaces uh, Toby and um, Oppy with... Yeah, just those two. Perfect. How do you know they're not furries? We haven't seen them. They have no bodies. They could easily be furries. Uh, okay, gotta put the shit in the locker before I go. Uh, there's, there's that. There's the shit. Rubber ducks. The moisturizing cream. I could use this on the road, theoretically. But it takes up a lot of space. Oh, the steel sheets can go in there. Nice. Let's just condense this all a bit. Wait, this can go in there. I guess that's fine. Uh, sh sure, looks good. The vac. Oh yeah, it works. Um, and I got first aid kits and all that. No, I don't. Do I have them in the car? Oh yeah, here they are. I should carry one of those. Okay, and repair putty goes in there. Uh, that should be good. That's my loadout now. Oh, except I want this thing on the hot bar. There we go. Oh, but wait, the root planner. I gotta um, interact with the thingamabob first. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? Uh, I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. Oh. If that old anomaly from doesn't Mario? produce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. Oh. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Uh, okay, so... I can select my mission now. This is the, the Deep Rock Galactic Dispatch window. The dark spot is a coffee stain. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna do Undertale Yellow Geno eventually. I honestly probably not at this point. My enthusiasm for it has only dwindled over time. And I've I've seen like spoilers for what the final boss is and all that. I'm just not really it, it doesn't seem like it's it'll be that far out of what you'd expect it to be, from what I've heard, so it's I'm probably not gonna go back and do it. Oh shit, I had a sandwich next to me the whole time and I forgot about it. Let me uh, eat the sandwich for just a hot second here. Wait, you have a th uh, your thingy out, Sin? Let me scroll up in chat to the thingy is about. Um.
um, thingy, thingy, thingy. Are we talking about Alan Wake, maybe? Or are you talking about the other thing we talked about where, um... Oh, yeah, right, right, um, Outsin was looking through some, like... It was, like, obscure Undertale fan games uh, on Game Jolt, specifically. Like, a lot of these weird old, like, low-budget visual novels and, and stuff. Um, and, and he pitched me on, like, if I'd want to stream some of those, and I think that could be a good idea, actually. But uh, Outsin's going to gather some interesting candidates, and, and maybe I'll, I'll play them on stream later. I think that could be pretty fun, actually. Game Jolt and Itch, apparently, yeah. Um, I, yeah, it would be kind of like a... I think, as Outsin said, it's like a hybrid between the fan fiction streams and the actual, like, Undertale Yellow streams, where it is a fan game, but it's, like, weird kind of dumpster diving fan games. Where it's just like you, it's like sans dating visual novels and stuff. I'm assuming. Um, I downloaded a while ago this old, apparently it's like an Underfell VN that almost no one knows about. You have to download it from the fucking internet archive. <laughs> it's like it's like how you get Umer set of a paste bin link. I guess maybe I'll play that too. Weird shit. Yeah, it's it's all gonna be the Enot dating sim with sans. That, that that's what I'm hoping for. So that can be a future stream, probably. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this one has low radiation, but a pigeon. This one has more black holes, but less lightning. Um, oh, atmospheric shifts, anomaly density, radiation, and storms. Resource density, building density, vehicle density, and fuels. Uh, lots of stats. Holy shit. Okay, what are stable anchors and junction stability? There's a, there's a lot of stats. They're all damp forest biome. As if there's any... Oh, no, blistering woods. I was going to say, pretty much all forests in the Pacific Northwest will be damp. Otherwise, the banana slugs could not survive. Um, I'm gonna eat more sandwich for a second, huh? Sandwich has been partially consumed. Hmm. I could build more panels, but I'm getting antsy to get on the road here. Okay. If I should play Slay the Princess? Honestly, I might at this point. Um, I was kind of realizing recently that I, I ran out of all the backlogged fan game stream ideas, so this is a pretty random thing to stream. Um, so I could stream more random stuff for a while now. Uh, I might get around to Slay the Princess, because I've heard nothing but good things about that. And I still don't really have any, um, well, I'm sure I've picked up some osmotic spoilers just from, like, looking at the Discord chat and stuff, but I don't know anything specifically that happens in that game. Delta Traveler Obliteration? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that either. Uh, the first Obliteration Delta Traveler route was, like, interesting, but it was also very tedious, I recall. Maybe even Little Goody Two-Shoes. Maybe I'll even play that. Who knows? It depends what comes up. There's a lot of time to fill before the, uh, the Elden Ring DLC, so... Um, okay, so I gotta... I just leave through the through the gate, basically. 
and that takes me to the roguelike zone. Hope I didn't forget anything. That's how you know it's a real roguelike simulator. Uh, why is the objective on my car? Why is it? What's it doing? Wait, do I have a... Oh, a handbrake! I can... Uh, yep. Control is now handbrake. Sure. So I can drift now? I, I can drift apparently if I want to. And drift in a fucking boat of a station wagon. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. There's a UI thingy indicating to go to this one, and it has low radiation, which is good. Especially for my DNA count. Uh, and it has no resources but lots of buildings. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, maybe those are like natural resources, though? Perpetual stability. What does that even mean, though? Uh, the storm will not be chasing you unless summoned. Oh, okay. So there's... The storm. The storm is coming. Haha, <laughs> the storm is coming. Y yeah. L let's just go here. Wait, I have to go to E5 before I can go back? Th oh, is that how it works? I didn't realize that. So maybe that's like a more advanced mission. Maybe I should do one of these earlier ones before that. Uh, like this one? I don't know. I don't really, I think the, there's no sense bum rushing through the game here. I'm not sure what the flow of it's supposed to be like. Oh yeah, and um, who is Lila? People want me to play that one too. You know what I could stream actually is um, Return of the Obra Dinn. I just remembered. Is that I've had that on my library downloaded forever, but I've never actually played it still. And I'm blind on it, so. That's a game people like to watch stream, right? Uh, okay. Oh, that's a black hole. Uh oh. You want to watch out for the black holes. Then that's the. Some sort of evil alien. Um, he's going away. Well, fuck me. Let's just be quick with the hammer here. The arc device needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the arc device until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any yep. given time. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, there's two generators in this one. Fuck. That was my first mistake. Okay, that guy's coming back. Don't want to stop here. Oh, okay. This area is a bit sketchier than the last one. Uh, they've got, like, yeah, half-life aliens stalking the area. There's, there's black holes. There's a green fog over here. Uh, oh, there's a meth lab, though. Let's just uh, park here for a sec. Um, okay. Ooh, a gun. Finally, we can pack some heat. So let's see if this uh, vac works. Oh, maybe it's only for items that are on the ground? Hang on. Let's try the vac. Not for that either. Maybe it's for like rocks and stones. Something different. Uh, there's a. Th oh, that thing is outside. Not so good. I'm unclear whether they can hurt me from inside still. Let's just get back into the car. Okay. 
We should make David Lynch play Who's Lila. Hey, that'd be good. And he'd go, this is very Lynchian. That's what he'd say. That's how he talks. Wait, I'm walking through a black hole to get to the plasma cell. Ow, 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 break it. Holy shit. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like the black holes do too much if you're not in the car, maybe? I can, I can hope for that, at least. Hope that's how it works. They, those guys aren't coming for me yet. I'm not sure what attracts them, or if they just move randomly. Wait, David Lynch was working on a game in the 90s about tape smoking aliens invading LA. That sounds awesome. Um, sounds sick. I'm sure it would have been really good and had... There would have been like an angry video game nerd episode about that in the alternate universe. I watched some old GDC talk by like Ashens or something on uh, the worst adventure game puzzles of all time. And apparently, uh, I left it on that time, shit. Uh, there's a Discworld adventure game, which I don't, I don't know if chat knows about Discworld. That's personally my favorite series of books ever. Terry Pratchett was my favorite author. Um, it's more popular in Britain than it is uh, in the New World, but uh, they made an adventure game apparently, but apparently it was so infamous for its shitty moon logic puzzles that he had to disqualify it from the talk, because it would occupy every slot. So now I'm, I'm curious to look into whatever the fuck that's about. That sounds like a ridiculous concept, personally. Okay, um... I didn't really look at where I was going too closely. It seems like I've left the main road and there's jack shit here, so I'm just gonna go back. You've heard about Discworld, but you don't know much. It's a very cool fantasy series. It has 41 books. It's one of those. But it's they're all set in... Um, it, it's not one continuous narrative. It's like a bunch of mini-series that are set in a shared universe. And the books, like, um, they alternate what series comes out. Like, the the 10th Discworld book isn't the same storyline as the 11th one. You have to wait till like, the 14th one to get back to that character again. It's very strange, but, um also very cool because like the universe sort of grows and progresses the longer you read and it goes through like different ages it starts off as like medieval fantasy then goes up to like renaissance when they're inventing like telegrams and stuff and steam trains I reached the end of the map shit I gotta go back something about a goat Oh, the go maybe I've the goat puzzle rings a bell. I don't know about it though. And yeah, they had the mystery of the druid salt arc in there. That that's a real classic. So it's kind of like Toho. Uh, honestly, I've heard that multiple times. Is that there's similarities between Discworld and Toho, which is kind of crazy. Oh fuck! I've been detected. Let me out. No, go away, go away. The fuck is happening? What is it doing? It deployed a, a suction. It was sucking me and sucking me. No duende. Uh, what just happened? Is my car damaged? It seems okay. Ah, fuck. Just quickly break the plasma. Go, go, go. Shit, that's gonna need some repair cream. Okay, I should look at my GPS more. I think I'm going in roughly the right direction now. I gotta book it to one of these anchors though. Uh, you know. Oh, this is a rail. I'm, I'm on some train tracks. Oh, I didn't know you read Good Omens, Mel. That's cool. That's that's uh, by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. So it's it's half it's half a Discworld book, basically. 
I don't know much about this gaming guy, but he seems alright if he works with Terry Pratchett. We have the, the mist of death here, a bit sketchy, maybe I just won't drive through that. Black hole, floating rocks. Uh, it seems like the black holes move around on their own, so you can't avoid them. Alright, I found a meth lab camp. I can loot this. Excellent. Okay. Oh, it's a gas station over there. Can I scrap the chair? You cannot. Uh, got some free food. Sick. Okay, I need to put this shit in my trunk. I'm overburdened. My bumper is still being affected by electricity. You hate to see it. Zap Tower's got a particle effect on my bumper. Just what I fucking needed. Uh, how does this thing even work? Can I just shoot a flare at the meth lab? Fuck. I thought it would stick in the wall like Terraria. But how many... How many flitters does this fucking thing hold? Okay. Uh... Hard agreed warning? <laughs> That's really f- I don't know what the fuck they're warning me about. That is a tardigrade. Is there like a, a bear-sized tardigrade in this game? That would be fucking awesome. Okay, well that's one way to get rid of a flare gun. What is that noise? That sounded like grumble bum. D does the, the gas station bathroom play grumble bum as you enter it? Like a doorbell? There may also be a hostile alien creature outside. I hope it's not that. I'm gonna hide in the bathroom. It can't get me in here. Check the toilet. Huh. But you can't actually read that. The fuck is making that noise? Quit it! You should be able to make those things go away by screaming percolate into the mic at them. Pathologic, says chat, is like Undertale but about communism. Sounds, um, like a good fit for my demographic. Okay, I think this is fully looted now. Oh, this is lore. This is the date that Kara fell, and that's a picture of a dog. That's important. Okay. Dumpster. Oh shit, I love these things. They made a diegetic loot box. A pearl? How fucking big is that? Uh, wait, that's not my car. Wait, where's my car? Yo, it's Big Dance! Okay, I'll cut through the store. Um, do I have like a, a HUD marker for where my car is? I don't know where I parked it. I think it was back here, maybe? There it is. Uh, oh, that's a big fucker. You'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed at the core. 
Oh, it's like a geode. Cool. So those the dumpsters are like fucking weird resource teratoma that just kind of grow. Uh, that's that's nice. I wonder when I'll meet the tardigrade. Let's have a snack break first, though. In the It very slowly increases my health. Pathologic talks about why you care about fictional characters, it's just like Undertale. I have heard that it gets very meta, so that's cool. And I do actually own Pathologic too. Um, so there's always a faint possibility that one day I'll finally feel like playing it. Hasn't quite happened yet though. Uh, Okay, is this also a lootable meth lab or crack shack or... Oh my god. I don't think you get into that door. Can I loot the barbecue? No. Um, I can loot the stereo though. Wait, no, don't do that. <laughs> we have to open the barrier with our human soul. Wait, did those guys even hurt you or did they just steal your shit? It seems like he just stole my shit. What an asshole. Eat the beef the beefaroni. Devour the ravioli, do it. Okay. Um, am I being irradiated? What's happening? Oh no, that was the healing effect from the ravioli. Does your vision also do that when you eat ravioli chat? Haha. <laughs> Um, okay, we're stable. There's a huge radiation cloud over there. A little bit worrying. I think I should go uh, east now. I should go east here. Down this road. Yeah, I think this stability is like if you wait too long in an area, the sky turns red and it spawns in the German next spot to eat you. I've seen it happen. It was at the PAX demo. Ideally, I'd like to avoid that. Oh, sick. Free gas. Ho Ho is the Simpsons video game. Wow. And it, it does everything except for romance. Perfect. I hate romance. Uh, oh, I did. I parked on the wrong fucking side. You know what's fucked up is that I've driven two cars in my life, and each of them had the gas cap on the opposite side, so I would constantly get the, the wrong one. It was always a problem. Come on. Let's go. It's not standardized. Well, one was um, a Mazda, one was a Mercedes. And so apparently it's not standardized between those two companies, at least. Uh, we're looking. Maybe I can apply some healing bomb to my car. Is it damaged? It's There's no parts that are, like, super damaged yet. Oh wait, there's one new character in the latest game that implies lesbian romance, says Melon in Poho. Finally, it took 19 games, we unlocked the ability to feel romance. Uh, okay, so I'm, uh, let's check the GPS here. Uh, I turned around, I have to go backward now. Okay. Wait, what? This is fine. Oh, like two headlights. I got so much light. There is no door for the trunk. I'll have to craft one later. Ooh, this looks like my stop. Hang on. Okay. Uh, that's a black hole. Just avoid that. Um, I'm gonna get the plasma first because I think taking the elephant's foot out summons the demons. Just 
want to sidestep that. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, can I, like, harvest sticks and stones, by the way? I thought that was part of it. But I forget. Can I just chop down a tree? No. What about... That was a fuel barrel. Huh. I don't really need gas, though. Can I... Oh, that actually did work. Okay, that's what the vacuum is for. I figured it out. You can chop down small trees. I don't know what you use wood for. I guess it's a, a wood panel car. Maybe that's what it's for, but... Curious. What is that? I got a pop-up on my hood for a second there. Alright, let's not look at that. Yoink! Radiation levels have increased. There we go, just plonk that bad boy in. We got a radiation lichen zone. Please get in. Just, uh... And there was another one on the map, right? Yeah, it's to the right here. Gotta go down the service road. Through the mobile electrical storm front. Is that an ent? What the fuck is that? Re, I guess. Maybe it's fine. Uh, I'm going the right way. Yes, okay. Thank you for reminding me, chat. Next time I get out of the car, I will put the tree fragments in the trunk. Ooh. That's lootable, actually. What was that? What's that noise? Um. Da, da, da. My health is dropping. Why? Am I in a radiation zone? Uh. Okay, where am I going up? This is the right way still. It is radiation, okay. Is there already a meta for this game? It came out like really recently, but I think I've seen Distortion stream it. People are already streaming it a lot. It's probably like, probably high level strats already. This would be an insane VR game. Watching Wayne, Wayne Radio TV guy play Outer Wilds in VR was uh, pretty astonishing. Because that game doesn't even support it natively, it's a mod, but it's like a super, super good VR game, apparently. Um, and this probably would be too. Fuck, my hammer broke. Okay, no more plasma for me. If you put on more t-shirts, it'll protect you from the radiation, I think. That's good. I guess you have no use for an axe in this game. Yo, it's the com comedy funny teeth shed. I love this place. Used to stop by here on every road trip down to the uh, Disneyland. All the locals know about the funny comedy funny teeth picture shed. Um, it's a painting worth 120 if you bring it back to the ship. Ooh, this thing. It says it's a TV, but it appears to be displaying an oscilloscope reading. Alright. See, now that was worth the trip. Wait, no, I don't want the, the, the can. 
go. Imagine, oh yeah, it'd give you motion sickness like crazy if you suffer from motion sickness. I've only tried VR once and I did have a little bit of motion sickness, so. Uh, Outer Wilds is like an advanced level VR game if you're really good at tanking that, I guess. Uh, what is that red thing? Gateway too close. What does that mean? Oh, that was one of those fucking guys. No, you don't. Fuck. What's you doing? Oh my god. I'm getting dragged around. Holy shit. I, I don't know what just happened even. They, they hit you with a grappling hook and they pull you, but I'm not sure what that does. Unless you like sucked my whole bumper off. Okay, where am I? Um, anchor is this way, through the black hole. There it is. Hey, what the fuck is that? Is that another tardigrade? Uh, I can't harvest that plasma because I don't have a hammer. I'll just ignore that. Oh boy. Uh, wait, where's the car? There it is. Ah! Stop that. Stop fucking with my car. There we go. Let's get out of here. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Uh, can I go yet? Oh, I gotta link this gateway. Um, oh, I can't be too close to it, I see. So I can drive back and then link it when I'm a bit closer. Let's do that. Does the game have a plot? Yeah, it's got some sort of lore about uh, exploring the Olympic exclusion zone. It's like Stalker, kind of. We have three characters. We don't know who they are, and they're kind of telling us to do shit. Classic stuff, really. This is the right way? Yes. Yeah, it's funny how many how many people play Outer Wilds and don't understand like the principles of acceleration and deceleration. Like they think that holding forward means that you move forward, but it means that you're accelerating. Like you're, you you move forward. Is that a fucking ramp? Holy shit. Um, your speed is going to increase the longer you hold forward and you stay moving at that speed until you decelerate again. And it seems like some people get it and some people don't for a while. And they, if they don't, they crash into a lot of planets. I should activate that now, probably. Alright, now you make a run for it. This is a road trip simulator. You plan your route, and then you get there before the demons get you. Fucking floating rocks. It's like driving through mosquitoes in Winnipeg. Okay, it's the next raid at Saratoga. Can I drift it? 
Okay, I'm not sure how to drift exactly. I tried. Yo, this is like a little suburb, actually. Cool. I'm not going to explore it now, because I've activated the Pillar of Death, but... That could have been fun to explore. Ow. Oh fuck, I broke the radiation shielding by hitting that fence? That's no good. Uh, I'm at the exit anyway, though. I'm sure there's no radiation associated with this phenomenon whatsoever. Really? Made it! Okay. Yes, the trick and any rocket scientist will tell you. This one weird huh. trick. You accelerate to the halfway impressed. point and then you decelerate. Not bad. Works Maybe. every time. Yoink. Are you Yoink. making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? I'm you all about should, fabrication. Well, I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. <laughs> if you need to take anything for a spin. You have a test track? Have you what? found the friendly dumpster yet? It's behind the shop. Oh yeah, Brenda I know the friendly dumpster. To visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. This game reminds you of the Eternal Cylinder? I don't know about that game. I've never heard of it. You reminded of a Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets DVD menu game. That is rather obscure. That's one thing I haven't seen a retrospective yet on, like a six hour retrospective on like the, the hidden gems of DVD menu mini games. There's probably people in chat who are too young to have actually experienced a DVD menu mini game. Um, the trick is that they suck. They were all really bad. Okay, I need my hammer back. I'm gonna turn this off to focus for a second. There we go. Pidge was bored enough to play them. Oh, I, I did too sometimes. I'm not sure why. Like, I, I could have just gone and played different games on a computer if I wanted to, but sometimes you just... You just get sucked into the vibe. Nine hour Mario Maker troll level video. Oh, I watched that one. That channel gets way too few views. That's another channel that, like makes stuff that deserves way more attention than it gets because like that troll video got kind of buried there was another one at the same time but most of the same thing um and he has other videos too so i i hope his stuff kept us on one day it's it's nine hours long because it goes through sort of a history of the troll culture uh the, the different sort of movements that the prominent um, landmarks in the troll level landscape uh, and how they affected the subsequent ones and split it into eras and stuff. It's like historical. It's it's very good. Ah, uh, okay. Um... <clears throat> uh, I need gears again. Okay, two of those. Va va voom. Hammer's back online, baby. Okay, a battery jumper. So I need this if my battery dies, which I guess it. I have to be prepared for. I might as well make one. Okay. Oh, this is everything I can make. I see. Steel sheets. What is the asterisk? I don't need to know. It's fine. Yeah, I can unlock more in the tech tree with the funny button, though. I wonder what those moon runes mean on the side, by the way. Stable, unstable, corrupt. I got 3.4 stables. Hell yeah. Try to keep those numbers up. You'll get a promotion next month. Are we talking about veggie tails? 
There was another channel, by the way, like that, uh, called Tim, with three M's, I think, who made these really, really good video essays, but hardly got any views. And I think just recently he finally broke out of the prison, and he got, like, uh, a lot of attention on a recent one about, um, something? Was that the Ace Combat one? They're, they're very good cinematic kind of videos that are about, like, the... It's like the emotional experience of video games. It's kind of Jacob Geller-esque, but not as a... Not in, like, the sense that he ties it into, like, broader... Um, academic... politiky concepts, or... Uh, what, what am I looking for? Literature. It isn't your, like, uh, the literature kind of style review. It's more like, um... Uh, it's hard to describe. Fuck it. <laughs> Just have to go watch the channel if you want to find out. Uh, uh, by JMH, if you're leaving now. It's good to have you. Literature in my video games? Yeah, that's, um... I was struggling to describe it. Yeah, Jacob Geller is like Vsauce for video games, right? You know what I mean, right? Where he, um, he starts with, like, a, a topic. You think he's gonna talk about that topic, but then actually he veers into, like, three other things that are, like, linked to it really closely and makes, like, a... He, like, synthesizes them into a single point. It's very cool. Philosophical, yes, it's philosophy, I guess. Doopy doo. I can make a bulb, a matter deconstructor. What the fuck even is that? Energy efficient, economical, ethical, maybe. Recycles components. Okay, um, I need this to unlock like anything else, apparently. Um, what is this? The garage. So these are garage upgrades, I see. Oh, oh. I have to make this, basically, so I just need to craft some gears and come back. Got it. Someone needs to make the Toho political commentary iceberg. Uh, interesting. Someone, there's a long-ass video about explaining the Toho lore, but it's like in a... It's an informal, unscripted format. It was like a PowerPoint presentation or something. It was kind of weird. I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, that would be good though, like a big meaty Toho lore explainer. I'd watch that shit. Where my gear at? Okay. If I had the fa- oh no, I did make the hammer again. Ah. That's a bit more convenient. I can shut that now. It's kind of fucking dark in here, eh? Okay, okay. Let's fabricate a matter deconstructor. Look, there it is. Gotcha, pawn! Um, whoa. Oh, yeah. It's like an MRI machine if it was a meat grinder. If I put you in a meat grinder and the only thing that comes out is your eyeball, I think you're recycled. That's cool effect, the outlines. <laughs> I like that. Uh, alright, so this does something. I can recycle... What if I recycle this canned food? How do I split the stack? Transfer... Drop... Oh, 
It. What did that do? It just deleted it. Do I get anything back? Hmm. Here comes the grub. There goes the grub. <laughs> so if you turn off the radio, you get like extra diegetic music. Which I think I preferred the radio actually. The the menu theme was kind of Stranger Things esque, I thought. Deconstruct big things. Like the pearl? Oh the pearl probably, right? This fucking pearl. Break it apart. Let's do that. Or do I put it in here or do I not? I'll try it with the hammer first just to make sure it's not literally you, you hit it with a stick. I don't want to waste this rare valuable resource. Okay, that did not work. Is a pearl? Is a rain world? Yeah, it's rain world. Is it gonna is it gonna go? Oh. Oh yeah, that that one goes. This is like the fucking the Zonai thing in Tears of the Kingdom, right? It's like this the big it just dumps components on you. Uh That's fun. Okay. I'll stick these in our locker. Uh a decal kit. What is that? Huh. Can I, like, spray paint the car? What about, like, the hood? <laughs> I made it into, like, a... Um... What am I thinking of? Like a Yoshi's Island texture or something? I guess that's cool. It's, it's the first cosmetic item you get in any game, right? You have to use it. It's all you have. It's your only way to be cool. <laughs> Even if it's dog shit. You appreciate that. It's removing some of the rust from my doors at least. That's nice. Maybe this was a previous version of the game had cell shading and it just looked like this. There we go. Can I fit all this shit? I can. Can I? Oh. Just do all? Oh, you can. Nice. It's the T button. Okay, pack our emergency devices, a first aid kit, some food. The vacuum didn't seem that useful, but I might as well bring it. Flares are always good. Crowbar just in case. I'm holding a bunch of scrap metal for some reason. There we go. Okay, I can make... Can I make a door for the hood? Um, the trunk, I mean? Is that something I can do? I don't see an option for that. Have I had any weird dreams lately? Did I have- I think I had a weird dream last night, but I don't remember it. It was some weird shit, like, uh... I don't think it was a very good dream, but I don't remember the details. It's like something bad happened. You know, 
that's a fascinating description, right? Something bad. I don't really remember what. Um, I was saying the other day that I've been having dreams occasionally where I... Because the first thing I do in the morning is always these days, like, I wake up, I, I squint at the Discord DMs on my phone, and I reply to those eventually, and... So I've, I've had, like, sort of half-awake dreams when I'm, when I'm just waking up where I, like, hallucinate, replying to messages and interactions that don't happen, and then I wake up and I have to do it again in real life. <laughs> you know it's bad when that's happening, right? It cannot be a good sign. I can make more panels, that's a good idea. I love a panel. Perfect. And the uh, skincare routine is next. Perfect. You've experienced that, it means your brain's about to hatch. Good. Are you ever one of the DMs? I don't know who they're to, Mel. It's not that specific. I don't tend to have very clear dreams, or at least it's rare, like that. There's like a vague sense of something happening, but there's not usually very much strong specific imagery. Okay, uh... That's pretty good. What is this middle thing? It has quirks? Oh, okay. Oh, that's the gas, probably. And the battery is completely uncharged? Oh, that's no good. Okay, that fixes that right up. Can I just use a normal door on the back, maybe? That, that could be the solution, actually. Except I don't have any, uh, items. Could scrap the regenerating car. Sometimes I dream about coding for school projects. Isn't that one of those, like, uh, hashtag grindset memes? He's like, you go on Reddit and you say, Yo, guys, guys, I had my first code dream today. That means I'm a productive member of society. I thought that was the thing. I can see that happening, though. You dreamed you found the peepus in the gastro video? <laughs> Never sleep watching my videos before bed again. Please don't. That's pretty disturbing, yeah. It makes sense, though, that you could only find the peepus in your dreams. That's a tire? It's a fucked up tire, man. Uh, and a free door. Hobie can't believe you haven't found it yet. Cannot believe that. Oh, gotta fuel up. Almost forgot. Wait, it's a paint shelf? Since when did I have this? I don't have any paint to store on it, though. Okay. I have a waypoint for that. Why? I don't have anything to put in here. Unless it's the decal kit? Maybe it wants that. Eh? Oh, I did it. I, that was a quest. I just beat the quest. Okay, what's left to repair? The Oh, the hood is damaged. Oh, yeah. I'll take a few lightning strikes. Good. Uh, the windshield? Is it cracked? I can't actually see. It doesn't have a health bar like the normal components. Oh, this one's fucked too. Okay. 
Okay, let's try making that door now. Oh yeah, no kidding. The, the door changes shape to fit whatever you build it for. Hmm. Yeah, the Peepus video, it does need a new set of eyes. It's always needed that. It's just a sort of like a dice roll whether the new set of eyes is going to be qualified to find it though. Honestly, it was more convenient not having the trunk to open, but probably safer. There we go. Now that's looking spiffy. That's a nice car. Oh, the lights are on. That's why the battery's fucking draining. Oopsie. Is it, is it charging? Gotta hit the lever cronk. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Can I build flares, by the way? It doesn't seem like I can. Huh. I don't know what any of this is for. Uh, what, what are the research goals do I have here? What's further on the tech tree? Bigger locker. Distillation? Can I make moonshine out here? We can upgrade resources with the distillation station. Okay, more missions. Uh, spectrochemical acoustics. It can repair components in the station when they go out on a drive. Ooh, we gotta get the detailing station for sure. Need electronics and scrap metal. Um... I'm assuming it pulls from the lockers too though, right? I just don't have any electronics in general. I always scrap the computer. One time you dreamed you were on your deathbed and Silk Song came out while I was dying? <laughs> That's awesome. Silk, Silk Song fan's worst nightmare. The fact that you were dying was like much less relevant than the fact that Silk Song came out to taunt you as you were on your deathbed. The true Silk Song fan does not fear death, only death before they get to play Hollow Knight. I mean Silk Song. But the bumper is still fucked? Oh yeah, the bumper's fucked. Gotta fix that. Oh yeah, looking good. Okay, let's get ready for another run. I need this and that. Those should go in the locker. Uh, need the crowbar, need the flares. I've packed the uh, survival rations, yep. Uh, that looks good to me. Alright, let's do another one. Wait, Pidge says, one of my BL games came out as I was actually dying. I recovered, though. I'm glad you got better. That's pretty bad. <laughs> the 
<laughs> Silk Song Deathbed Dream is so fucking funny. But Mel's dream is that Discord made um, server rules unusable so everyone in ACDS had access to the admin free stash. But they just shitposted. That's probably what would happen. Like, if they got access to admin free stash, they would just, like, shitpost there and put, like, piss memes and stuff. Like, they can't really do anything. We don't really hide confidential data in there. Just furry art. It's in the name. Okay, what we got? Uh. Oh, I never noticed the leather in these seats. Very comfy looking. I think I need to go to the root planner. So I think I should probably make a... Oh, wait, I can't go there? Or I have to go to E5 first. Which doesn't look especially dangerous or horrible. Uh, let's just try it. Let's just go. I'm curious what'll happen. And... Let's get a move on. Yeah, we, we use the admin free stash to hide our conversations about how much we hate all the server inhabitants, every one of you. We, we write the, the am hate monologue from I have no mouth and I'm a scream like every single day, just a vent. You don't understand the Peepus obsession? You're not a true Peepus enjoyer. It's just a hidden a secret. People want to find a secret. It's got anomalous clouds. It sounds like what comes out of my ass after I eat kimchi ramen at 4 a.m. Am I right? Um, I didn't even check where I'm going, by the way. What do we have on the map? Oh, it's a pretty empty map, actually. There's a settlement, then there's the anchor. I think I drive to the exit though, don't I? Because I, I just want to pass through this place, I think. I'm assuming that's how it works. Wait, no, play it. Play me the log. I want the lore, come on. Where the fuck is it? How many of these are there? Holy shit. Tell me about this. Oh, you have to read about them. You can't. They don't have voice acting. Okay, understood. I don't know how to read. Uh, what is this red line? Is this like outside of the anomalous activity, maybe? I'm gonna check out these uh, meth labs, though. What was that? It's all Arda's fault. If I meet this Arda, I'll give him a good talking to. I'll give him a piece of my mind. Uh, I have that. Yo, it's a particle accelerator that points into my eyeball. Um, yeah, what the fuck is any of this? It turns anything into road flare. Like, uh, what? Like that? Like this? It, maybe it wants. I I need that though. You can't have my road flare. Yeah, I need that. Um, ooh, lots of loot.
Okay, that was a pretty dense meth lab. I'm a fan of that one. And also the trash can. Yo, look at all the shit in the trash! Yeah, that was a good one. What the fuck is that? I think I don't want to stand on that line, probably. Is that Chainsaw Man from Chainsaw Man, maybe? It keeps saying, it says tab to play, but tab just opens the menu. Which I think just means it's a text post. Um, we are en route. We're still doing okay. I want to take the next uh, left turn. Oops. Eyes on the road. This is why you don't text and drive. And I'll go to sleep for that tattoo appointment tomorrow. Enjoy your Delta Room tattoo, nerd. <laughs> Got him. Fuck, I passed it. God damn it. It's now a right turn. It's here? Oh yeah, here we go. Take the off-road shortcut. Who doesn't love the aesthetic of driving down a dark, rainy road in the middle of the night? Like, I hate doing that in the real world. But in the context of this game, it's kind of nice. Fuck. Are those man hacks? I think they're man hacks. Uh-oh. Time to get out of here. Wait, did they turn off my headlights? Weird. Okay, something is wrong with the car. I heard they eating my man. Oh, fuck off, man hats. Jesus. Okay. So that's what those things do. I gotta get my plasma. Oh. It zapped me. What is that? The fuck is... Oi, oi, oi. This one's real sketchy. Uh, I cannot see shit out here. There's some sort of tesseract over there. I don't like it. Now can I find my car ever again? Uh Oh, there's a there's a car finder on the left there. I didn't see that. Okay, I'm out of flares now. It's a bit worrying. Put all that shit in there. Did they turn on my radio? I guess it'll stay on for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm going. Oh wait, no. There's a an anchor there. Do I need that? Maybe I should grab that and then book it to the exit? 
Just because it's there? Oh, fuck this. Okay, hang on. Well, fuck, I can't see the anchor now, and I'm almost dead. Uh-oh. This isn't going so well. I think I'm being irradiated. I'm just gonna leave. And hope that that exit actually works. Off road. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Is the car stuck? Damn it. I'm in a bit of a pickle. It's almost as inconvenient as a car accident in the real world. Um, okay, the road is vaguely this way. I think I found it. Good. Whoa. Damn, I can't drift when I want to, but sometimes the game decides that I'm going to. Okay, where the fuck am I? I'm off-road. I gotta turn around here. open? Uh, yep, yep, almost. Here's the road, fucking finally. Ass radio is keeping the zombies at bay. I just know it. Always with the barrels. Oh, it's the world border. That is how you do it. Okay, good. I hope that would be the uh, the play there. It's a bit worrying though, because I'm out of like first aid and stuff. I don't have any flitters left. I'm gonna have to scavenge some of those. I'm not gonna last long. What's the game about? You drive around in the Pacific Northwest in the weirdo like stalker exclusion zone, and you gather resources and stuff. And we don't even know why we're here currently. It's a mystery. Okay, we got a, the nearest crack shack. First available crack shack. Raiding that shit for flares. They have not invented flashlights in this game. It's only 1998. Flashlights were invented in 2007. It's a damp forest type zone. Um, yeah. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head to town. Bad break Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Oh, is that the small planetoid? Yeah, I don't want to know what that thing does. Uh, oh, this place is big. Wow. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest hunkered anomaly in the zone? You want to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. 
I thought Cappy was from Super Mario Odyssey. Be fine. There's the evil weeping fine. angels. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but I'll Bobby's lick it. Got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. What do these guys do? The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. This guy's cool. I care. They can lay down, wait until That's the a tourist. Can I? That would get them out of my hair much faster than all these oh. shenanigans. You don't want to do that. But he did drop a ruby. <laughs> that took away a lot of my health, though. Um... I'm really shit out of luck without flares. Like it's night time, I can't see shit. Yeah, they're not allowed to curse. It was the 90s. They hadn't invented swearing in media yet. Um, so they gotta say like, that's a honkin' heckin' diddly darn gosh darn large ass anomaly. I mean arse, I mean butt. Oh, flares! Nice, nice, nice. We're saved. Uh, oh, no, they're already in there. Okay. Uh, what is that? Scrap it? Gotta have the deck pick. There was another flare? Well, I'm gonna have to use a flare to find the other flare anyway, so... Too dark to see. I wonder if the, that one's a Colossal Pappy over there. I don't know. Doink. It said my passenger door was open, not closed itself. That's fine. So those guys, you just don't touch them and they don't explode, I think. Hopefully. Uh, I, there's only one way to go yet, so I just follow the road. Boot, said Jesus. <laughs> After being sold out by Judas. Gosh darn it. Whiz. You think Jesus like swore with his own name? Every swear word is just like some variant of Jesus' name, right? So I guess Jesus couldn't swear because he hadn't invented the swear words yet. Oh fuck. That's bad. Okay, surprisingly not much damage to the car from that. That's like 20 concrete barricades in a row. There's an anchor there. I kinda want that. Bad news. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I didn't put it in park. That's why you park the car. guy's on my ass. Oh, god damn it. It's like they made a set of enemies that are specifically geared to anti-vehicle combat. What madman would do such a thing? Uh, wait, can I drive up this? Is there any reason to do so? Like, it, it doesn't look like a good idea to just drive up a ramp for no reason. Uh, 
Uh, okay, gas station. There may be some evil mannequins here, but at least, you know, you gotta get gas. Fiddlesticks is the best pseudo swear word. It's pretty good. Uh, isn't that a, a, a character in League of Legends or something? I've heard reference to such a thing. Alright, let's explore the Weeping Angel gas station. Weeping Angel gas station, squid game huggy waggy. Nothing but shirts. Some food? Oh, I could, I could have a snack actually. Oh, what the fuck? What's that? Are we chill? Wait, did that take my torch away? Fuck. What's a guy got to do to get some torches out here? Surely torches. No torches. What are those guys doing? What even are they? Okay, one more torch to check out the gas station. Wait, what? They're towing me! Get the fuck back here! Why are they doing that? Can you fuck off? These guys aren't even... They don't kill you, they're just really annoying. Wait, but I have to drop the torch. I need the torch to explore the gas station. And I gotta explore the gas station to get more torches. How the fuck do I get in? Oh, it's a dumpster. Nice. Yeah. Wait, was that a whole ass scrapper? I picked up an impact hammer. Cool. Uh, speaking of which, can I equip that? Here we go. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's like a loot crate! Hog champ. I got a tool shifter. I don't know what that is, but it's probably pretty good. Um, a humbug is a real thing? I, I have no idea, honestly, what a humbug is or was. What is a tool shifter? I'll find out later. Um, it's too dark in here, man. I need to find a reliable way to source those flares, because without them the game becomes rather difficult. Okay, let's see if my car still exists or if it's been put into a sinkhole. I can craft first aid? Oh, can I? I guess I never checked that. Um. Oh yeah, I can. Fabric and duct tape. And let's use that immediately. Stow the loot. Whatever that is.
Okay. So I want to go to here. Which is like back, then left, then off road. Oh, toward the giant floating Eye of Sauron. That's a better way of putting it, I think. Oh, fuck. Stop it, you. I want to go see your local tourist attraction. Oh, the rain stopped, at least. The fucking man hacks are back, god damn it. What the fuck? I'm getting irradiated to break the things off my car. They make like source engine jank noise. It's great. What am I trying to do here? This thing is just gonna like kill me or something anyway? Uh... Okay, I can't drive past those. I wish I had a flare. <laughs> Can't see shit, man. This do something? What the fuck is that? Train cars? I'm not close enough? Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what's happening! It's too dark! Uh, I'm trying to scan it, but it won't. What if I go like right underneath it? Confused, mostly because I can't see anything. This is oh my god, I can't see it at all. I have no torches, uh, but I cleared the row of dummies. Maybe that's why my health is gone. Uh, let's just eat some food. Drive for the Eye of Sauron and see what happens. Oh dear. Okay, that's gonna damage the car a bit, for sure. And I'm in the radiation now. Oh god damn it. Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta get onto that bridge. I gotta get up there somehow. Oh, God, okay. Uh, it looks like the bridge. Is that the bridge? Is this the bridge? I can't actually tell what the bridge is. Looks like I have to go back there, though. Okay, I'm gonna repair the car first, because I think the radiation shielding is busted until I can repair it. Gotta slather on the ointment and the ambulance. Lotions and potions. 
Oh, it's I used it all. Fuck. Uh, that ran out faster than I thought it would. Yeesh. Okay. Pid used to obsessively eat carrots because he heard it was good for your vision. I, I think everyone heard that at some point. They just contain some vitamin that, in theory, your eyes use. I don't think it directly improves your vision or anything. It's kind of like how calcium supposedly makes your bones stronger, but just drinking milk by itself doesn't do anything because you need other nutrients to absorb the calcium. How do I get up there? I need to get back on the fucking road is what I need to do. Which is up there. Can't see shit. Oh, I haven't gotten so thoroughly stuck in this game before. I think I'm getting back on track finally. There we go, we're back on the road. Yeah, you need magnesium to make the calcium work. It takes sunlight to get the plant to work, says Richard Feynman, but for magnesium and calcium. Uh, alright. Maybe... some flares in here? That would really improve my mood. Scrapper break? Nope, this thing broke first. Nice. Uh, flares, please. No flares. Another one of these fucking things? Wasn't there an old bridge around there somewhere? Maybe that'll get you the height you need. Thanks, Toby. I appreciate that, but uh, I'm stumbling around in the dark. I don't know how to get to the bridge. This is just like a real road trip. It gets to nightfall and you're lost on the highway. You don't know where the nearest hotel is. And you just argue with each other. That's what's happening right now. Can't find anything else in here. Can I look around a bit? So there's the anomaly. There's the bridge. It looks like it's up ahead, basically. Gotta get through these mannequins, though. Is that a foot? The fuck? There's a foot on that. A lead. Mm, car still not close enough to Cappy. Here's the bridge. What now? How about um, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? That would be fun. I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't, I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say, what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Get me out of here. Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kid fooled. Yeah, yeah, you can do it, man. It's, uh, it's all right. Just trust me. Uh, it'd be funny for the vine. You know? so, okay. I'll, I'll take whatever you suggest to get me the fuck out of this place. I can't see. I'm blind. 
Hey, can you teleport me somewhere where the sun is out? That would be ideal. Gaso cylinder. Degenerated into a Skyrim character, stumbling in the dark and stealing shit. Uh, okay, that building looks like it might have some flares in it, though. Promising looking building. It's got light, which I'll, I'll take that. What did that do? I really don't know. It lowered the bridge. I didn't see it do anything, but maybe it did. Yeah. Uh, they're they're all doing their science and shit and speculating about the anomalies and the radiation flux, and I'm just trying to find layers. I'm trying to find a light source. Like I'm playing Minecraft and I'm lost in a cave. Okay, what's in the crate? No flares. What the fuck is this? Hmm. A vapor light? Can I inhale the sodium inside it? Take a whiff. Huffing sodium makes you invincible. Watch as I drive this Toyota Corolla at 200 kilometers per hour, zonked out of my god. You need a paint thinner mode in this game that actually makes you invincible. I'm sure standing on the other side of the lead shielding that's meant to block radiation is no repercussions in the long term for me. And it's all good. I just realized that I'm breaking the lights instead of, like, using them to light things up. I only know torches. I don't know how to use actual electrical lights. My health is low as fuck again. Is that just because of the... I hope it's not active radiation poisoning. I don't have any healing left. Well, according to the powers that be, all I have to do to win is drive into that, like, singularity, and then I'll be fine, right? So, let's just do that. This car that can drive at, like, 25 miles per hour top speed. I gotta have to do a jump into a black hole. I'm just gonna tip off the edge and, like... What the fuck does that do? Oh! Oh, those are like boost pads from Sonic. Perfect. I really stuck the landing. Come back on already. Can you hear me? Oh yeah. Cappy fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, we good. it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. I love a game with stakes, you know. <laughs> None of the routes you've mapped so far lead to If you get out fast out. enough, you Why may be able to play Silk Song before you go insane and die. And okay, okay. <laughs> but think of Deltarune Chapter 3. Oh. 
I'll drive my car through any number of black holes if I can survive to the release of Silk Song. Uh, the fuck is this? Tinker Station. That's new. Uh, this a troubleshooting module? Every car door is opened. No fix. Wait, what? What is this thing? I can't use my mouse to control this. Dashboard key is turning. No fix. What is this menu? Fuel up. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Don't you dare go hollow. Alright, let's see if I can research like a, a Nintendo Switch to play Smash Bros on when I'm bored. Um, on the detailing station. This is the first priority, obviously. Wait, I do have a mouse in this game. Right? There we go. Uh, yeah, detailing station. Give me that shit. Gotcha pawn. I love how it gives you a warning for that. It's not a notification, it's a warning. Caution. Hands only. I'm gonna put the go fast stripes on the car to make it go fast. Oh yeah. It's, it's like Windows XP. God, they must have spent so much time designing all these fucking menus. Every one has a different aesthetic. And they're all really Baroque bespoke and uh, woke, probably. The new DLC of Splatoon 3 is a roguelike. I don't think I'm going to be playing that. I've missed the first um, three games in that series. <laughs> Uh, but I did, as I said, watch an uh, interesting video about Splatoon recently because um, it referenced my Undertale video and seemed kind of inspired by it stylistically, so that was cool. I gave that a watch. How many pride flags has the game? Well, I haven't seen any so far, but you never know what crack shack will have one hanging up. It's just around the corner. I'll have to check on the RAM thing in the recording. The, you mean the, the RAM run I did at the start of the stream? You can just go play RAM. You don't have to watch me play it. You can just go download it. <laughs> the demo is just on Steam. Uh, wait, what? We were just... Wait a minute, what? There, why did there just... <laughs> I was tricked. I was duped. There literally are fried flags. <laughs> what the fuck? I felt like I hallucinated that. <laughs> Where did that come from? Okay, apparently the only thing you can decorate your car with are pride flags. Or Black Lives Matter, I guess, of course. Fuck, there's a lot of these. It would be a really good bit, by the way, just to have, like, um, Italy in here or something. Like, Estonia. It's just in them and it's never, like, it's never commented on. Remarkable. <laughs> That's it. That's the only menu. Bobbleheads. <laughs> or choose your pride flag. Put on the straight ally flag, says Outsen. The classic rainbow is pretty nice. What? Can I just install this right now? Where is it? You see it? The exterior. 
Where's the... Oh, it's... <laughs> it's like a bumper sticker. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Gonna make my gay radioactive car and drive it through Oregon. That's how it be. To be fair, I think the Pacific Northwest is known for being fairly gay. It's just one of those things. It's in the water supply. Came back to gay. Yeah, you get the detailing station and all the only default unlocks are pride flags. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, you, you gotta unlock like the bad to the bone skulls later on. As all true gamers aspire to be, you, you can unlock the ability to be less gay as, as you play longer. It's a long and hard grind though. Um... I gotta repair my bumper with more healing balm. I gotta make some of that shit. The nutty putty. Chemicals, glass, plastic, and scrap. I can make plenty of that. <laughs> Putting the fried sticker on my radioactive SCP car that's slowly driving me insane. Absolutely. Was it, wasn't Mel calling the, the car maintenance erotic earlier in the stream? I should have slapped on a lesbian pride flag. Just for them. Here's your fucking erotic gay car that, that the masses call for. It's just like Toho, probably. I don't know. Oh, that one's okay, actually. I'm not reading that message. <laughs> you deleted it. <laughs> There's nothing erotic about what's happening on screen right now. It's completely platonic. Um, okay, is the car repaired? Have I lathered it enough? Okay, the headlights are fucked. Oh, oh. Schlort that on there. It makes the lens a bit blurry, but, you know, it's okay. I'm not sure what to do about that windshield. The tire's flat. Are both tires flat? No, the tire's flat and the headlight is busted. Oh, there's no light bulb. Fix the smashed bulb. I can do that. Oh, the windshield's getting pretty bad too, actually. Uh, oh, use a ceiling kit on the windshield, so I just need to make a million ceiling kits. I can do that. One, two, three. So I just hop up here. Huh. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Cover it in expanding foam and it's good as new. No, they should have used a more slimy sound. It should have been the delta and splat noise every time. Yeah, it's only white fluids. That's that's how you do card maintenance at all. It's all about applying white fluids to surfaces. I guess I'll pack this in my survival kit. Um, crack sealant. Oh no, it used them all up. Maybe. Oh no, it's it's just right here. We're fine. Um, what is this thing? It's a detailing station. Okay. So it's something other than a pride flag. I loaded in here. This is literally some like bad to the. It's not. It's not paint. Is this this is the detailing station though, right? How do I install it in the detailing station?
Oh, you hold down the button. Weird. There's your stickers. Um. What do I... What do I do? Oh. You just put it in there. Hey, what is that? A tool shifter. Oh, it's like a screwdriver. Well, that, that's something. Who up handling the car tool? I can't do a pride license plate. All they have unlocked is the little stickers on your windshield. Oh wait, I could do an epic reference to um, what the fuck was his name? Tomota. The, the the Homestuck OC from that um, the Azzy Pants streams, who is canonically uh, Burger Pants's Homestuck troll OC and is both gay and straight. I, uh, I gotta put the um. Where is it? Yes. <laughs> this is uh, Burger Pants's gay straight Homestuck troll. That's who drives the car. Perfect. Hamota Zapsis, yeah. Okay, good shit. Um, I blew my budget on the research station, it looks like. Maybe the dumpster will have some flares for me, though, please? I'm stuck in the poverty cycle without some flares. Ooh, flares. Thank God. Okay, um, I got two hammers. I only really want to be carrying... I guess I can recycle this thing because it's almost broken. Okay, munch it up. Oh, don't really get very much from those. Okay. Make a new one of those, a new hammer, I need gears. Boom, okay. Okay, put the spare scrapper in the back. I have one of those. Crowbar. And this goes in the locker. Okay. Um, maybe I can research how to make flares or something. It's a long shot, but I'll, I'll try. Um, an anchor radar. Liberator hand vac blowtorch. Wait, that's a torch. But it's not the kind that I want. I want a flare. Uh oh, I can make a bulb to repair my headlight though. I do need that. My tool is blocking the UI though. Eldritch knowledge is downloaded into my brainstem now. Okay. What? Couple consisting of a gay guy and a straight guy. It's like a, like a buddy cop thing. It's like a road trip movie from 2003. 
I could picture it. And they're both in a radioactive SCP car. Outfitting station, what is it? You can upgrade yourself? Oh, that sounds pretty good, actually. Uh, but I need more gaso cylinders for that. And you can only get gas cylinders from the meth labs, as far as I know. The fuck is this doing here? But that was there the whole time? I just had this? Oh, I guess I have to have a spare bumper, okay. That's fine. Uh, the trunk. Uh, I'm gonna take a, a break for a second. And then maybe do one more run. I'm still feeling a little bit on the tired side today after that RAM marathon. But uh, I think I can do one more run, then we'll call it. But I've got to take a quick break first. So I'll be back in a few minutes.
Hey, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the ambient Pacific West Coast rain noises. That's a very premium rain noise. Hmm. My ten remaining loyal viewers. <laughs> Nice, finally regrew my eyeballs. Uh, car should be good to go now. Okay, where are we heading? I've driven my car through the fucking singularity like they wanted. Now, uh... Oh, G8's looking a bit funky. But there's no black holes. Keep that in mind. That That's one thing it'll always have going for it. Yeah, the viewership has dropped off quite a bit. Not devastatingly so, 50 is still okay, but... We can't get too acclimatized to the Undertale fan games. Those things draw like 300 viewers for some reason. Everyone just wants to watch the Undertale. A, a more normal stream viewership for me is more like 80, 50 to 100 people, you know? Chewing on a baguette, though. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not wrong about saying it was a very profitable stream. Sometimes you just get that $100 dono. <laughs> you never know. Are you going, Outsen? Oh, no, Mordoress is going, and Outsen was saying night night. I am Mordoress. Yeah, I love bread. It was a good invention. I don't fucking know who invented bread. You ever think about that? Like, who was the first person who had the idea to, like, mix grain, smash it up into a dust and moisten it, and, like, mix it into a foam with yeast farts, and, and leave it to grow into some sort of weird tumorous ball that's made of air, and then you bake that. And, like, I know they made flatbreads first, probably, but even it's such a weird fucking thing to do to a plant. It's not intuitive at all. That was a MatPat video? What the fuck? Um, hmm. These look pretty similar. Junction. Uh, okay. So that one's fucked right now, I can't go back. This one has a caution sign and this one has anomalous clouds, I'm assuming. Uh, I should just pick one of these and head. Let's just do it. get some more uh, gas tanks for my self-improvement station or whatever it was called. Uh, oh, I need some gas first though, hang on. There's always one more step. Beer came first and bread was a byproduct? That wouldn't be surprising. I I've heard theories that all of agriculture even stemmed from brewing because uh, back before plants were bred to the point where they, they were good to eat, like, you know, how fruits became a lot larger over time as they were selectively bred by humans, um, agriculture wouldn't have been effective unless you wanted to brew stuff. It was, it was more viable specifically to get drunk than it was as a food source for, like, hundreds of years until it actually became viable. <laughs> Like, all of human uh, societal progress has stemmed from the desire to get drunk in one way or another. Okay, that's looking good, though. We're looking good. Got my shit. Um, it would be nice to make some first aid kits, though. Hang on. Can I craft those? Uh... Oh, I was going to make a bulb. That's right. 
Make one of those. Um, I, it's always duct tape. The limiting factor. It's always duct tape. Um, so how do I? Way to sort of equip the light bulb. And oh wait, no, that's not what I need. Um, how do I like apply the light bulb to it? Uh, oh, I need to make a light replacement? Hang on. Uh, is that a thing I can craft? That's a tire. Okay, I don't actually need a bulb to make the headlight, but... Maybe this? Can I... can I fix it now, if I'm holding it? Uh... It doesn't seem like it. Headlight. Of course, no one in chat's gonna know how to do this because the game just came out. Um, okay, E doesn't work, click doesn't row it? That's probably a bad idea. Wait, fuck. Wait, how do I get back? Okay, this is a mystery. Fix the light. Kick it. That's not it. Well, I can't figure it out. I gotta research a, a light replacement first. That could be it. I'm just gonna leave this somewhere. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I could walk around holding that like Nika one shot though. That would be funny. Okay, let's get out of here. When does it stop being night? By the way, that would be really convenient for my flare supply. Oh hell yeah, my car shifter be different now. I gotta get one that's like a, a skeleton. I gotta, and every time you touch it, it goes wow wow wow. Okay, let's uh, I'm not really worried about backseating on this stream page because it's a new game, so it's the amount that people can backseat is actually very limited. Let's go to the back roads. See what happens. Damp forest. It is damp and moist and soggy. Objective, dry out the forest. Oh, uh So the road is just some tire treads through a dirt plain. You hate to see it. I need some better off-road tires. This thing's ready to spin out at a moment's notice. Hmm. I can raid this person's hovel, though. I'm always looking to raid a hovel. Um, I think I want to keep those on, actually. They help a lot. Okay, okay. Uh... I missed the flare research. I should go back and look for that. Well, eventually. I don't know if I'm going to stream this game more. It, it, it's a fun game, and I want to play it more in general, but I'm not sure if it's like a... Holy moly, are you kidding me right now? 
but Bobby, you saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. I didn't see it. I was what? looking at the ground. What do you mean? What? The hallucinations, like the ones from 1961. Oh, yeah, that was a good year. Just a quick blip, like blinking your. Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? Oh. When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. I, I feel but like I'm a reaction tuber now. I'm listening and to someone else speak and I just go, oh. We picked up that oh. its source was northwest of us. Mm. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. That's BC. They're talking <laughs> about British it's Columbia. It's been... 40 years. There needs to be a, yeah, that's like a obvious mod idea or like official feature devs if you're listening. Twitch integration where the chat is a physical presence in the back seat, like a, a, some sort of 3D model of a chat member. And the, all the, the text just gets read via text to speech with like really highly spatialized audio. So it sounds like it's coming from your ear behind you. I think that and would be a good idea. All. Oh, it's this not all. This hallucination wave that triggered, we picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. Oh, that sounds good. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane. After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades, just when things were getting dull. Who are these people? The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. I'm starting to get this the feeling you, that these we people are so literally just like I know. I've already pulled they're literally AIs or something. Uh, like, driver, that that might just be a stupid we'll report back to you impromptu theory, but like, <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, like and, 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 where are they careful. living and like why Bobby's don't they have right mind, physical okay? forms so, and like watch yourself. They're gonna be like robots in a shed like in Soma or some shit like that. They, they seem to communicate just omnipresently. I don't know. Hmm, McDonald's Sprite. Uh, I searched the trash can. Yeah, I did. Duct tape. That's liquid gold right there. And by liquid, I mean solid. Okay. That is one looted crack shack. Nothing behind it. Why does that door keep opening? We don't know if the robots are gay, Pig. The only one confirmed for gay is this car. It's both gay and straight. Um, Okay, where am I now? The road is to the left, and there's just one big ass long road, so I just follow that. Okay, we got a gravity anomaly. Hate to see it. Uh, Toby and Francis are gay robots and also Azzy Pan. Can't argue with that. Oh, these fuckers. Oh, it's a bad time to spin out. Oops. We can go off road for a sec to avoid those guys. Okay, am I following the road again? Yeah, we're getting back to the road. Uh, this is apparently the road. 
Doesn't fucking look like a road. That's lootable. Uh, Old World Blues, the new Vegas DLC, where you hang out with scientist brains in jars. Uh, sounds awesome. Well, people have already mentioned this game is fallout -y, which I've never played any Fallout game, honestly, so I can't really comment that much. Uh, where's my my bits and bobs? Where'd they go? Hell yeah, flares. Love to see it. Alright. Good and looted. That fucking headlight still doesn't work. I never managed to fix it, right? Okay. We are on the road. Apparently the problem with this map is that I can't fucking see what the road is. Further right. The road looks the same as not the road. Here we go. Okay. Uh, it says I'm passing a, a hovel of some sort here. Let's see what the deal is. Oh, there it is. The rocks are breathing. Well, the walls are breathing too. You got a bigger problem to worry about, buddy. Oh, can I do that eventually? That looks like a sick tech, actually. Oh, hi. We got some radiation here. These places have gas tanks, though, sometimes. That's what I need. Though not in that one. Gas mask. Hmm. Inventory full, really? Well, oh, there's a gas tank there, though. Uh, okay, I want that. Wait, this isn't full, it's just inefficiently packed. Or maybe it is actually full. Hmm. Yeah, seems like... Uh, okay, this is not the best, uh, and my flare went out. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the car. And then I'm gonna come back here. You know what? I'm just gonna leave the flare there and then use it to guide my way back. Perfect. And the repair putty. Why am I carrying around a bunch of repair putty? People talking Fallout in chat. I've heard a lot about Fallout New Vegas, of course. That's when everyone talks about like it's it's like the morrowind of Fallout, if that makes any sense. It seems to have a similar appeal. Oh fuck. Wait, what set those guys off? I didn't do that. 
I got the gas cylinder, right? There it is. Wait, that's not even a gas, that's a pressurized cartridge, for fuck's sake. Well, that doesn't do me any good. Okay, that's just radioactive lichen, that's fine. I'm slowly being killed by radiation out here. Just noticed that. Well, shit. I do have a spare one. to get to that the light the, the yellow thing in the middle ah oh, fuck I was, yeah, I was saying earlier, but then I got uh, cut off by the audio log. Is that this is a game that I'm very interested in playing more of, but it's not the most streamable game, I feel like. Or at least it doesn't suit the kind of games that I like to stream usually. So I may uh, do something else and go back to playing this off stream after this, but it was nice to check out. I was very curious what it was like. Scrapper. I need the scrapper. Chad is informing me that eyes aren't real. That's cool. The flare is so clutch. So clutch. I think there are streamers who would actually like play a lot of this though, because like, it's a roguelike. It is quite streamable, but it might just be more that I'm not in the mood to play um, sort of a more mechanics heavy game like this. Oh dear. fucking coming up in my Amazon package. That door keeps fucking opening. Okay, I'm not uh, radiation poisoned enough to use the med kit. I'll, I'll, I'll save that for later when more of my DNA has expired. Uh, so I think I want to go get this thing. That's going to be my main goal for now. Um, right there. This is through the woods. I want to follow the road. It's going to be better in the long run, I think. Yeah, well, I'm not necessarily going back to the Undertale fan games immediately. I was saying, like, I might even... Um, well, Outson's going to prepare that batch of funny... The, the weirdo Undertale games, which is going to be a bit different than the, than the normal fan games, but then, uh... I might be in the mood to do some, like, Slay the Princess or something. Some Melkor game. Uh, and not Melkor from, uh... Is that Lord of the Rings? No, who, who's Melkor? That's like an evil villain from something. There's Morgoth. Morgoth is Lord of the Rings. I mean, Silmarillion guy. Is Melchior like a an Elder Scrolls thing? Hmm. I'm gonna try scrapping that barrel. See what happens. Oh, it's a fuel barrel. Maybe I shouldn't scrap that. If it's got fuel, I should siphon it and not blow myself up. Uh, there we go. You give it a good old soak, and then you put it in the car. Now 
know, the noises that makes when you drip the gas into your tank kind of reminds me of a Suikin Kutsu, which is Jack, uh, Toby Fox's favorite ska song. That's what we call the good old pump and dump, right, you are, Pidge? Have I heard of Wordless? Uh, no, only Wordle. Oh yeah, Melkor was Morgoth's alter ego before. It's like the Lucifer to the Satan, you know? That's Silmarillion lore for the real fans, though, by which I mean people who like reading long lists of boring names. Apparently, I've, I've heard in the Discord server that there's a lot of ship art. Not on the Discord itself, just in general. Uh, of uh, Sauron x Morgoth. Which, I mean, doesn't really surprise me. Nothing regarding shipping should surprise me at this point, ever again. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't actually leave yet. That's a bit of a problem. Or maybe I can? Uh-oh, I'm gonna get... Oh, he actually poked me out of the way of those trees. Thank you, kind sir. Very considerate. Uh, I gotta activate one of these fuckers. Hang on. Yeah, pull the trigger. Let's do it. Actually, I'll head north to the road first, and then I'll do that. That'll be more uh, responsible. Oi, 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 oi. Uh, I am going north, right? Yes. Almost there. Holy shit. Ugh. Okay, we're basically there. Uh, pull the trigger, let's go. There's our convenient waypoint. Wow, that gravity anomaly wasn't shit. It barely slowed me down. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Just some good driving. I'm making it work though. Woo. I love it when the demons give you a. Uh, they turn your radio on. They just want some tunes, you know? It's like in Sauna 2000 when uh, Perkele himself shows up to share a beer with you. Let's go! I think you get a suntan if you sat in that for long enough. Cobalt Core is the newest roguelike darling. The newest roguelike darling is Random Access Mayhem. I owe you an apology. I'll have you know. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. Mm -hmm. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. Because you're a robot in a shed. a place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll Look be free. That. No damage. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only thing we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide How did I here. get here? That's what's not explained so far. Is like, why the fuck did I come here? I'm assuming I'm like one of those Area 51 stormers who just came to like Naruto run at the US government or something. I'm like, I'm some actually just completely insane wingnut who's here to find aliens. Um, that's what I like to imagine. Or like, I, I don't care if I go insane, I don't need to, you know, <laughs> pass the sanity test anyway, kind of guy. Hmm. 
Naruto running through the 90s. Or maybe this is what Spamton did immediately after getting kicked out of the mansion. This was his first unemployment arc. He just traveled to the uh, Olympic exclusion zone and got irradiated in the wilderness for six months. It was like one of those self-discovery type quests, like that one fanfic, but it didn't work at all. He didn't get any better. Um, okay, before we stop here, I want to... Wait, what? What is this door for? I'm not going to waste a flare just to... Okay, what's the point of that? Um, I'm going to research these fucking flares. It'll be the biggest quantum leap since the invention of the uh, transistor. Putty. Oh, light repair kit. I do need that. Let's go. Fuck. Okay, need one of these. It's very Nikola Tesla coded, very true. Um, but. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. It counts as a light. Oh. A relightable flare? Side floodlights. Oh, these look cool, actually. I, I'm, I'm into lighting. It's one of the most fun things to upgrade, I think. A bio flare. Is that like you take a shit on a stick and you light it on fire? That would be cool. A crude flashlight. No, this is a proper light source. There is no higher research tier. It it's capped so it crude. Great. Uh, okay, let's try this thing though. I can make it. It needs fabric. And that's it. I need a single piece of fabric. What is this? It is just like a, a burning rag? Is that your flare? <laughs> you light a shirt on fire and you hold it till it burns you. Yeah, he thinks he's hot shit. Flaming shit. That's it. How far can I go down the tech tree? Um, I can make a real... He the side floodlight sound kind of good though. I need the unlockable side rack. Oh. How do I research a side rack? Insulated, armored, Olympium, anti-corrosive, lead-plated, insulated, pain, mega-million scratcher, south addiction, Jordanian, Bubba Kush. Um, there's a lot of door research. Holy shit. A powered bumper. Can I get the meat grinder bumper? Can I get like one that harvests wheat that I drive over and makes baguettes automatically that come out of a little hole in the floor? That would be fucking awesome. Imagine a combine harvester that the, it really combines all the functions. It, it takes the, the raw wheat and it turns it into a fresh loaf of bread in real time as you're driving. That would be the best invention. <laughs> Could drive one of those all day. Uh, ooh, the off-road tires do sound good, though. My summer tire. Game of Thrones reference, I guess? The power grip 4 million. Aquatic. You can do aquatic missions? Sick. Oh, here we go, the side rack. But first I need... If I don't know how to pan around this menu. Oh, another side rack. But I need... Research steel sheets. There's like a crafting tree here. Again, it's one fabric. Easiest shit. Okay. Your favorite persona is the penis, says chat. That has nothing to do with anything, but I do know what you mean. That is Mara, I believe. Just the person who tried to tempt Buddha out of meditation or something as he tried to reach enlightenment. And the Persona dev saw that and said, Yeah, I bet he looks like a giant penis. And then they did that. And it's in the game now. I 
can't I can't access it. This menu is kind of weird. It wants to be controlled with a, a gamepad, I think. Ooh. Finally got my fucking Thule. Let's go. Um where where does this guy go? It's it's a side rack, no? Where do I put it? Surely it goes on the side of the car, right? Oh my stupid chat. I don't know where to put it. Will they all get installed under the hood? Oh, there's a battery, huh? Apparently not. It usually gives you a tooltip for how to just do it. Uh, maybe C? Oh. Unless there's like a special kiosk I need to do this. It's not in here, is it? This is just for aesthetics, I thought. Word oh, got more wordless data. Wordless is a Metroidvania with a unique turn-based combat system. Turn-based Metroidvania. Remarkable. Oh, it's on the window! I found it. You found it. Good job, chat. Okay. Uh, it's, it's smaller than I pictured. I thought it would be like, you know, on the, the whole door or something, but I guess that works. All right, let's research the floodlight. I love really big tech trees. As I plug whenever I get the opportunity, my favorite childhood game was an obscure PS2 title called Warship Gunners 2. I never played Warship Gunners 1, only 2, but it was like a battleship simulator. It, it's like ace combat with ships, basically really goofy, exaggerated storyline, but um, it had like a billion R&D parts. It was menus like this, but you have to picture them like in a blurry ass, like low res PS2 game on a CRT monitor and like hundreds, I think like literally over a thousand individual components to be researched in that game. And they were all just like lists and lists of like military jargon acronym shit. MLRS CSV OXYTRP Mark XXV, like that kind of shit. And I just did this for hours as a kid, forever. It was endlessly entertaining. Um, still never found that fucking gas cylinder. What a travesty. So I'm saying this, this does have an appeal to me. Why does everything just need like a piece of fabric? What does that, what does that mean? It's just like you use a, a little bit of string to tie it on there. Or is it just to make the blueprint? Is that all? <clears throat> Yo, what? Toby, you got you got a streamer to watch the RAM trailer in front of 2,800 people. How did you do that? Wait, why would a streamer stop a stream to watch a trailer for a different game? I just want to know the context. I mean, that's good news, but like, how did you get that to happen? If someone came into my chat and is like, hey, there's a new game, watch the trailer for it, I'd like, I'd like ban them or something. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck? That's a lot of people, like 2800, that's a big streamer. Maybe it was Shay? Could be. Mystic Slime? I, I, I don't think Mystic streams to 2800 people. Oh, he's someone you watch regularly and you sent him an email. There you go. Sick. Okay, so now can I, um... Oh, I don't have enough unstable energy to make the, uh... Cool flashlight.
can make a flare gun. It seems like the main thing I'm spending here is energy, actually. I wonder how you even get that, though. Is that the, um, the light bulbs? Uh, can I make one? Oh, I can. You need to make it out of flares, though, so that doesn't really solve our problem. How does this thing even work? It's just like a, f it's a flare with a cone around it. I think I can picture it honestly. Start spamming Umris to big streamers now. Yeah, get um, XQC to read Umris or something. I can't keep referencing Jerma. He's not the only streamer, but he's the only streamer that I like, I know of. Like uh, Joel and Vine Sauce and and Jerma, and um, I guess Northern Lions a streamer nowadays. But I mostly watched him back in the day for his Isaac videos. I'm a fake fan. Oh yeah, that, that is a relatable torch. Okay, well I think I'm not going to stream for any longer than that. It's going to be a bit of a shorter one. Uh, as I apparently ease back into streaming. Although I think uh, next Friday should be a Fatal Gang again. It's already fucking two weeks, the time's flying by. I feel like I did the last Fatal Gang stream and then I went into like the rammed portal for two weeks and I'm just gonna come out on the next Fatal Gang stream. It was just like a, a time warp. Uh, I've been very, very hyper fixated on RAM recently leading up to that um, demo update. Oh yeah, I know about Library of Little, no. Uh, I just don't tend to watch it very much. Okay, well that's Pacific Drive. I'm gonna keep playing this off stream, as I said, but the next one's probably gonna be more like, um, depending on whether Outsens gathers the material, we could do that Undertale fan game dumpster diving, or we could do some other thing, like maybe Slay the Princess, because uh, I keep hearing good things about that game. But for now, uh, thank you for watching until the end, my 48 remaining viewers. Um, and I guess play the RAM demo in the meantime. I'll see ya. Oh wait, I forgot about art. Oh my god. Hang on a sec, I'm chewing. Well, we'll do the art, don't worry. I, God damn it, I, I don't stream for one week and I forget the entire format. I am supposed to do the art at the end of the stream. That's how it's always worked. I don't know what kind of art people have made for this game. Maybe just like gay car sex or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, basically that's what people made. Okay, well, let's look at this. For lack of any alternative. Um, it's unclear where it starts, actually. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we have uh, white fluid being applied to the car, as tends to happen. Uh, lilac weather, this is their fault. Lilac weather's fault for that art. Um, And, oh, an Outsin one. Okay, this is, <laughs> I'm excited for whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Does this game contain robots or dinosaurs? 99% of Valve employees fail. It's like a captcha. Do not post the jizz car on the subreddit. No one do that. You can post this shit. 
Exclusion Zone, U.S. of A. Who exactly is this human? It's like it's like an Alex Yeek kind of type person, but with uh, blonde hair. It's like Alex Yeek MacGyver or something. Beautiful. Chuck Tesla. It's just some guy. The driver. The gayest, straightest man in the U.S. of A. It's him. <laughs> oh, I see. It's I missed the uh, the paired dichotomy. Yeah, the, the stalker versus whatever this game is. It's just a nice road trip. And, oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> The car is named Mel with, with Golden Freddy. I love that. I love a tableau of degeneracy. I hope we can get the car looking like that. Um, or not we, as I said, I wouldn't stream it more, but I hope that I can get it looking like that eventually if I unlock enough decals. The expression is good, yes. It's very nonplussed. Well, I guess we'll have to do the visit. Golden Freddy is like screaming constantly. Loot get it's just a crack pipe or something. <laughs> wow. There's lots of loot if you like used heroin needles in the Pacific Northwest. You, sh you should be able to loot banana slugs. That that's what the real loot in the Pacific Northwest damp forests are like. It's just really large slugs and mushrooms that may or may not contain psilocybin. Excellent workout, Sin. You got offered a blunt while putting groceries in your car. Just like a passing vagrant offered you a toke? Did they look like Sweet Bro? Or Hella Jeff? Wait, Vindictive Toast made this funny pixel art too. Very small. It's a, it's a gay pixel car with some white gelatin on it. What, they did look like Hella Jeff? What do you mean? How high do you have to be to do something like that, man? Okay, I think that's all the art. Well, lovely. I I'm glad we caught this. It would have been a tragedy to miss um, Golden Freddy here. Love that guy. Okay, well, actually, uh, bye everyone for now, and I'll see you during the Fatal Game stream uh, on Friday.